experiences and cruel and beautiful. <laughs> um, lovely. So the way I'm thinking we're going to do this is, uh, so I was going through, I don't know, Heller, if it happened for you, but uh, as I was going through the book, I've noticed that he does not have a easily distinguished chapter header. Yep. Yep. He was saying for three yeah. People. Okay, so it's con- like, so his shit is consistent. Okay, at least you're consistent with your terribleness, Harmon. I think my favorite part when I was reading *Cool and Beautiful* was that there was a certain point. I think it was during the second stream where the book he just started copy pasting uh, entire pages. What? Oh what the hell? Yeah, there was a point. There was a point where I was like, "Wait a minute! I read this sentence before, and I went back, and you can see it in the stream." Yeah, he was—he was just like copy pasting. I don't know if it, if it was because of the format in which he's which he submitted it, or if he did it on purpose to sort of like artificially increase the, the book's length. Oh no! Oh no! Bruh. <laughs> and oh, that I was the same shit twice. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> that was what, his second book, right? It was so just this is his it was first. Just the echo. It was just the echo. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Um, yeah, it, it, his book has like this ethereal quality about it. It's a very page master style thing. Like, <laughs> um, all right. So I'm thinking um, we'll we could trade off like every like maybe five page turns if you guys are looking at my uh, screen. Um, so I can read like, uh, so like what one, two, three, four, what game five. Title do I put for this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is there a is there like a? Oh wait, you could do showering with my dad simulator. <laughs> what? Wait, that's yeah. real. I that. I haven't oh that. yeah, that's real. Wait, I thought you Bruh. guys. Did you... Wait, it is a old. thing. I what? To, I need to find this shit. <laughs> it's a oh, thing. Yeah, showering with game. my that's a, dad. That's a super old game. That was like. 20 yeah. Years. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. 2015. Damn, it's I didn't real? think it was that old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is it? Why? Why is it real? Why? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey! Every why dad deserves Cheem- to be showered with. Bro, you know? what is Cheems? Of, what is it? Why does it say that when I look at my friends list, it says that Cheems of Regret wants it? <gasps> Cheems <laughs> does want it. It's on his <laughs> wish list. What? Yes. <laughs> 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 Can I read off the names of real quick? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there's a lot to unpack here because I've never actually looked at it. But the some of the characters that you can be in in Shower with Your Dad Simulator 2015 is Omnis and Magnum, Richard and Lefty, and Johnny and Robin. Oh my god! Uh, I will post that in case you are, in case any of you do want to shower with your dad. I posted that in our Armin's Angels. Okay. Um, lovely. Yeah, this is going to be a very um, loose, <laughs> a very loosey goosey stream. But it's okay. You know, just just take your clothes off, relax, shower with your dad. It's get all good. This. Yeah, this is the only way we can get through this because, guys. Hour. Yes. Um, I do plan, by the way, on um, kind of slowing things down about eight ten, eight twenty. Um, hmm. I'm probably like I do need. I actually have like a order pickup I have to go get by like eight. 50 so i'll probably like cut the streamer out like 8 10 8 20 but that gives us a solid two hours to uh get damaged just get real oh, yeah. sad a lot of damage can be done in two hours trust me I know. get drunk bitches <laughs> all right so boys i have, have some liquor to get through this let's be honest <laughs> uh also for comments i do plan on um i do plan on uh going like looking at them but it's going to be more towards the end because there's just a lot of book to get through. We don't want spoilers, so, obviously. We want to hear it like loud and proud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, boys. Um, should we just like round robin this shit? Um, uh, yeah. So I'll do I'll do five pages, um, and then we'll pass it off to the next person in the order, which I think I have Heller as the next one, oh, then no. BT, then Psycho, and then pass it back to me. Yeah, all right. Sure, sounds good to me. Okay, let's do it. Um, let's do every three pages, by the way, because I would love for each of us just to get a just to get real sad to be yeah, able to read all these words. Probably a good idea, because who knows how many times we'll need to stop and just assess what we're. What we're doing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Because like I've watched your this is gonna sound kind of stalkerish, but I've watched your stream multiple times, Heller. Um, partly in preparation for this, partly because I got a good laugh every time I listened to it, and I think it made the stream more fun. To be fair, so, I didn't know Heller even did that until now. <laughs> yeah. Until yeah. he started oh, bringing it up fantastic. to me. 
It's fantastic. I fell asleep listening to it one time, and I had some absolutely in like agonizing dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I would not recommend so you do that again. At, so at that. least we have someone with experience in this coming along. Yes, for the that ride. is specifically why I reached out to Heller because, like, much <laughs> like much like you would exercise a demon or a ghost, it is important to have your local pastor or rabbi present. <laughs> and Heller, to me, is the Harmon Smith uh, exorcist in this situation. So fair enough. <laughs> All right, boys, you ready to enter the Eye of the Dragon? I'm yeah. so hyped. Let's go. Okay. As ready as we'll yes. be. Yes, and this is, I would like to point out real quick, he is making a sequel to this. Hey, yo. Jaw of the Dragon? Jaw of the, Jaw of the Dragon. Literature. Hey, boy, yes, I, know literally Harman Smith. I know the Harmon Smith oh, intro. Okay. I know all the books. Come on now. Yeah, Psycho, Psycho is probably the best person ever who can, like, he can do that shit off the top of the head. Would you like to, real quick, before I say prologue, would you like to give your uh, opening as Cody Lee? <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Cody Lee, author of I, the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King Duo, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> uh, fucking based. Okay. Enter the dragon. The dark-skinned girl leaned up against the side of the building. Her head tilted back. Her eyes closed. She was seemingly dead to the world. Dressed in an immaculate black outfit, head to toe, she almost blended in with her dark surroundings. She tapped the bricks behind her with her hand, absent-mindedly. Sorry, uh, that, that, that part was actually me. That was me kind of cutting off there. <laughs> her imagination was running wild. The possibilities tonight were endless. Dollar signs danced in her brain as she stepped out from the shadows and into the busy sidewalk. Ugh. She clutched at her stomach, mid-step, stumbling somewhat. She put on a grimace, a show of pain, and staggered forward. Plenty of people stepped right around her, paying her no mind at all. But she was a very young, very attractive girl. It did not take much time at all for her to be noticed. <laughs> hey! She tried to keep the disappointment off of her face as a young man approached her. Although handsome and bright-eyed, she could tell at a glance that he was not what she was looking for. His clothes were somewhat shabby and his hair was unkempt. This was not a man who spent a good deal of money in his appearance. Oh well, she was just warming up. No, no, I'm fine, she said brightly as she waved him off. Thank you. Ugh. She bent over again and he leaned forward to help her. He touched her arm. Do you need help? He asked her. Getting home, maybe? No, no, she assured him, shaking her head. I don't live far away. She was already slipping his wallet into her pocket. Too easy. Are you sure, he asked, seeming a little disappointed. Yes, yes, she said, considering dropping the facade on the spot. But she knew that would be bad. That would be a bad habit to get into. A wealthier Mark was more distrustful, Mark. Wait, what? A wealth... <laughs> All right, well, this might be the first place to stop. A wealthier Mark was a more distrustful Mark? The fuck? Oh, is she saying like a more wealthy target the more is more? Okay, okay. I God, I would have just read that out loud and just been like, "What's a better way you could say that?" Because like I would say like target. Yeah, like yeah. you said, Mark. That just makes her sound like she knew the guy's name was Mark, but it's not. It's not that. Damn like, it, bro! Like, I hate like, when Mark is mistrusting. <laughs> like I like I understand the lingo, but it just huh? It just mm -hmm. doesn't flow well. No, yeah. it, it really doesn't. Um, I, I didn't preface this, by the way, but language arts was like my, my specialty in school. Um, so I'd like to think that I'm just a tad bit more of a grammar Nazi than most of my friends and family. So I am to a degree, I'm very but I, I'm, not, I'm not, I didn't, you know, I didn't major in anything. So <laughs> I never went to college <laughs> no, that's for fair. it. You that's fair. You yeah, the short time I did go to college for it, this was uh, this was something I genuinely um, got really excited about. So Although, I, yeah, I will be looking at this with a very I, uh, crucial eye. <laughs> I, I will say English was my favorite class in school, and I thoroughly enjoyed yeah. reading and writing. So that's probably why I'm a grammar Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's fair. Yeah, well, it's better than being a Nintendo Nazi. So I mean. <laughs> I'm a bit of a grammar Nazi because, like, so as... So, I was born with autism and diagnosed with that shit, but, so, that makes me take a lot of things literally, it needs me to, it makes me need things to be very specific and shit, and that's, oh, yeah. like, an example of it, like, yeah. spelling has to be correct, <laughs> I have to get grammar right, which I suck at, ironically, 
<laughs> I suppose autocorrect is a good thing, which you would think that if he was writing this on his, you know, high-end PC that he claims he has, you would think you know that what? there'd be... You know what, I'm going to push back on this a little bit, because there have been so many times where autocorrect, autocorrected the, the wrong word constantly. Oh, sure. Right, right. But then when I'm trying to use the word, like, oh, when I'm trying to use the word word, they think I mean apostrophe we are. And I'm like, no, mm. no, no. <laughs> Send this oh. please. Hell, did you mean heal? No. <laughs> yes. Bruh, every single time I said fuck in autocorrect, Duck. Like, my fucking <laughs> autocorrect would always tell me, like, did you mean to say duck? No, Karen, I didn't mean to say fucking my, duck. I've misspelled. This ducking sucks. <laughs> I've misspelled. <laughs> I've intentionally misspelled fuck so many times with, like, the umlaut out, or the umlaut u, or whatever the fuck that, yeah, I think that's oh. what it's called. Like, the double dots. And yeah, so yeah. every time I spell fuck on my phone, it comes out with that little umlaut you every time and i'm like i'm not german but okay <laughs> nice sir. oh my god all right back back to this lonely idiot if she couldn't fool this lonely idiot she would never be able to steal from richer men she stepped past him rubbing her stomach her eyes running expertly around the general area expertly Although she had picked a rather well-off district in the city, pickings were disappointingly slim tonight. She almost melted in disappointment. She looked down at her black gloves and sighed. Where had all the good men gone? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I'm still. Oh, I'm because... sorry. I didn't think that was going to be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the most social commentary? <laughs> oh my god, he's doing it again. <laughs> I, oh I'm, my God. I'm still Let's caught go. up on like a sentence ago where he said he, he she picked a well off enough to could he not think of another phrase other than well off like wealthy rich best, uh, wealthy anything. rich well to do like I don't oh she chanced a glance behind her to see if the man who had stopped her before was still watching he was not he seemed to have melted oh. back into the crowd doubtless seething at his inability to win her over. She was about to consider putting on her act again when she became acutely aware that someone else was watching her. She almost froze, but kept on walking, trying to look natural. Leaning up against the side of a building, much like she had been just moments before, was another woman. Wild, blonde hair round, ran down her shoulders in waves. Oh, I see that motif is returning. <laughs> she was dressed professionally rather like a businesswoman or a lawyer with that white blouse, jacket, and pants. It was the bright blue eyes behind those glasses that made her wary, though. They had been fixed right on her. What were you saying? Oh, no, I was making a joke. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm surprised it wasn't billowing in the wind, but... <laughs> oh. Wait, yeah, no, that PlayStation gamer told me that Harmon's got, like, a fetish for hair blowing in the wind. It, yes, 100%. Uh, like it. Like, I think, like, It Grew and Beautiful, it was said, by, like, like, five fucking times in the span of, like, yeah. three paragraphs. What you, what yeah, it's like he couldn't think of anything else to describe her as. Like, she couldn't look upset, she couldn't look frustrated, and her hair, just, like, she would get up and it would just billow in the wind. It's like, wind why wind. is it always billowing? <laughs> Wait, what the her fuck? Her black hair beside her. Like, oh my, dude, we get it. Dude's got a, oh okay, alright, fuck, man. <laughs> I thought I had a little special finish. moments in my writing, fuck. <laughs> it's okay to have writer's block but it's helpful to write these books with a thesaurus just just saying <laughs> i mean google's a thing you can go and look up synonyms ah, it, literally <laughs> now it's gut gut dough no. oh. <laughs> the the woman in white who she had never seen before did not move from her spot although she did tilt her head to follow her as she walked by the girl was beginning to feel a little nervous an ordinary person would not look at her with that dark, accusing stare, especially not in the city. Everyone around them was bustling ahead with nothing but their destination in mind. She broke out into a faster trot, intentionally moving through the thickest crowd of people she could find. She took the opportunity to purloin more belongings from passerbys, as she did... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, this is me. As she did neatly, squirreling them away in her secret stash. After she had gotten some distance, she turned around to see if she was being followed. The woman had disappeared. The girl felt a strong sense of relief wash over her. Perhaps she had just been imagining things. Perhaps the woman had seen her act and simply felt some brief burst of genuine concern for her. 
She turned back around to find the woman standing right in front of her. She froze, eyes wide as she stared up at that accusing blue stare. Hello, thief, the woman in white said, her arms crossed in front of her. The girl froze, her teeth almost instinctively curled into a grimace, her mouth wanting to let out a hiss. Why? Uh... Why this woman hisses? I don't think, Wait, what? I don't think <laughs> I don't, Harmon has projected his inner furry confirmed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> furry boys, back up. We're not even two pages in. Holy fuck! Oh, <laughs> uh, we're still in the prologue. <laughs> That's, I'm gonna be honest. That actually, that actually took a lot longer than I, than I actually expected. <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. God I, damn. I, I was not <laughs> expecting the prologue to be so long. It feels longer, and I don't know if it's just because I'm reading it, but it feels so fucking long. Oh, it's definitely uh, because you're reading it. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the effects just kind of wear on the brain over time. Um, <laughs> Thief, she said laughing. What? Me? She tried to come off as incredulous or dismissive, but the words came out rather hollow. She honestly could not remember the last time she had told such an awful lie. I was watching you, the woman said, her glasses glittening straightly and strangely in the light. You cannot lie to me, thief. The girl laughed, adjusting her heels a little bit. No, no, she said quickly. I would never... She turned and bolted as fast as she could, away from the woman in white. Her legs pounded against the sidewalk. She could not hear any sign of pursuit. People gave her strange looks as she bolted past, but she did not acknowledge them as she turned the corner back into her alleyway. The woman in white was standing on the other end of the alley. The girl froze, her eyes wide as the woman started, stared her down. The girl turned slightly and made for the catwalk. She quickly leapt up several feet in the air and quickly pulled herself up the building. The woman in white watched, unmoving as she climbed the side of the building. She did not use the stairs. She simply hoisted herself up the side over and over like an animal. She smiled to herself as she pulled herself onto the ledge of the rooftop and hoisted herself up. There was no possible way she could have followed her up here. She had... Uh, why, why is it... Uh, like, I understand there's a, like, there's a uh, space here, but I, I think... Uh, I wouldn't have said it like that. She had. Like, that just rolls yeah, off bad. But also, like, as she pulled <clears> herself <throat> onto the ledge of the rooftop and hoisted herself up, like, you couldn't have figured out... Uh, yeah, she already pulled that. herself up, so did she not... Cause she couldn't get up the rest of the way? What? <laughs> Like, were there two ledges? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a fucking third-person action game in the mid-2000s. Oh, <laughs> she stuck to one wall. <laughs> just there was no possible way to follow. I, what the, I can't. I'm still stuck on this. She had. There's no way she could follow her up here. <laughs> just the she emphasis had. on she had. I'm still stuck on that. <laughs> <laughs> she like did. She was, like she was behind you, you went through a crowd. You fucking everybody, in front of you like Ultra Instinct Goku. So I don't know what you expect. <laughs> everybody, op <laughs> everybody, open your textbooks and turn to page sixty-three. The word of the day is contrived. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the word of the day is give me money, bitches. I can't do this long. <laughs> <Give me money. laughs> yeah, support uh, our cause. Yeah. Uh link for the donation is in the description. Just kidding. You don't actually have to do that. I just I just have that there in case. Uh have you had enough? The woman in white said, looking down at her. She could not help it this time. She hissed, baring her teeth. The woman <laughs> stared at her, and in a brief burst of panic, the girl decided to take action. The girl leapt, her hands outstretched. The tightly gloved hands were ripping and tearing, giving away to fierce claws that could tear apart flesh. Oh my the God, woman it, kicked so it really is. It's it's it was the groundwork because this came out first. So oh God. we're <laughs> we're going oh. back a step. Oh. The woman kicked forward and a sharp heel slammed into her stomach. The girl cried out as she flew backward over the side of the building and onto the street below. The woman in white brought her foot. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> I think Carmen is voodoo dolly. <laughs> Uh, down on the ledge, staring down as the falling girl spun around in midair, neatly landing on her feet on the street below. A large, a large cat-like tail waved behind her. Why is there a oh, comma God. there? It is for it is furries. Uh, it is furries. So many furries. Oh my God! Oh my God! Listen to this, Felician. The woman in white nodded, noted <laughs> as large cat-like ears oh. spurted from the girl's head. What the disappointing. Fuck? Oh no, she's a cat girl. <laughs> it's a cat oh, girl. No. It's Boys, a trap. It's a fucking trap. Somewhere is into that. 
You Someone never go full cat girl. Bruh. I didn't know Harmon was this much of a fucking furry. Of course he was. Oh, uh, you well, he definitely had a fetish with vampires, so I mean Oh god, Dr. Is, is cat really that far off? <laughs> Sorry, oh, Doctor uh, Doctor Dragon, my chat. Furry Harmon Smith, burn the heretic. <laughs> <laughs> also, real quick, um, Jeans of Regret just said it on, on Twitter, uh, your Discord server link is expired, by the way. Oh, interesting. Okay, is Keems in the chat? No, he's to... on Twitter. Oh, Keems I think is... He is. Yeah, he's there. Keems is in the chat! Oh my god, oh, god. Keems! Hey, yo. What up, Keems? Thank you so much! I love you, Keems. I'm a I very also, big fan of yours. I also partake in your content. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Um... I'm very sorry. Uh, I think if you go to my about section, which I actually, can I just real quick, let me just put my discord in the chat. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, Keems. I really do appreciate you being here. Thank you. Yeah, it's the Damn first time I've act interacted with uh, Heller, and this is also the first time I'm technically interacting with Keems outside of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, we're all one big community. We gotta look out for each other with that damn yes. image. Especially when we're reading Harmon Smith. <laughs> Especially. Keems, thank you so, so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I am a very big fan of yours. Keems I don't mean to figure it right in the middle. Um, I promise I will not hiss at you and turn into a cat. <laughs> <laughs> cat girl time. Let's go. All right. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> The girl stared up at her, fangs bared. The eyes, which had once been a sweet dark brown, had morphed into a savage, bestial yellow. She let out a hiss. Without another word, she took off, scampering into the street. <laughs> uh, the, the blonde woman sighed as she watched her go. This time, her very presence caused chaos in the streets. People yelled. Cars swerved out of the way. Horns honked. The mere presence of her true form would throw the street into chaos for at least the evening. Oh, that shouldn't have had a comma there either. I would have made that... Oh, whatever. <laughs> she she would almost certainly be heading home. Perhaps to her family if she had any, or perhaps to hide low. She could not be allowed to get away, even if she was nothing more than a petty thief. The girl quickly arrived at her apartment. She had no idea who the woman in white was, and had no desire to know. She had ripped apart her mattress with her claws and uncovered the hoard of jewels, cash, and other valuables she had taken over the years. This is just Catwoman. Her eyes ran yeah. over them, taking them all in. There was so much of it she could not possibly take it all with her on such short notice. She had panicked and come back her... Come back... Okay, no, I'm not stroking. That is how it's written. Oh. She had panicked and come back her for her things. <laughs> but the more she thought of it, perhaps it had not been the best idea. The window shattered to pieces, and she let a scream as the woman in white stepped through, her high heels crushing the glass on the white floor with an intimidating crunch. Ah, the woman said yes. Wait, the woman said said. Oh, oh, oh I'm God. sorry. Oh, no. Ah, the woman said said. I hate it when people said wait, said. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Where yeah. are we? Wait, what? Right here. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> ah, it, it's in quotations. I don't know if we're from her perspective. Do we need to be in quotations? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, up to you, man. I, I, I guess, guess it helps if if we don't know who. I mean, if we don't know their names, but also it's just written very disjointingly, so it's like hard to tell who's fucking talking. Yeah, at this person. point, I think he should just start writing Shakespearean, where he has like the names in front. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like a play. I feel like that would help him a lot. The woman said, said, her eyes falling on the treasure. So you are a repeat offender. The girl bared her teeth, unable to get the words out. She whirled around, whipping her hand into a nearby drawer and pulled out a small handgun. She what? raised it, her hand shaking a little, and fired. The woman in white did not even seem to move, but move she did. Okay. And fucking Goku. And, <laughs> and, oh, oh, just wait, it gets better. In one fluid moment, she drew a sword out of her jacket and slashed upward, <laughs> smashing the bullet no. with her blade. What the, the fuck? The girl's eyes widened as the bullet, <laughs> by the force of the strike from the blade, came right back at her. Bruh. Yeah, god damn. Oh. She let out a gurgle as the bullet slammed into her head, sending her tumbling backward onto her desk. The woman in white lowered the blade, staring despondently at her body. May God rest your soul, she said quietly as she neatly pulled open the blade and slid it back into her jacket. What city she is this? Back... 
<laughs> where where, where does this it, happen? <laughs> it just said oh. the city. Whoa. So, a uh, normal protagonist. What a hero. Yeah. <laughs> May God rest your soul, she said quietly <laughs> as she neatly put up, open the blade and slid it back into her jacket. She stepped back to the windows and cast one look back before stepping back on back out into the night. Chapter one. <laughs> the uh, hand of the dragon. Oh, we're finally through the prologue. Yeah, I already want to die. <laughs> yeah. I have oh, I lost brain cells from the fucking grammar. This is definitely Guys. an anime style story. You're not wrong, Norman. <laughs> I got that vibe yeah. too. <laughs> this is definitely also. this is definitely the way this is going. Um, I would love to point out that the first sentence uttered in the chapter one is we need to start getting rid of people. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's like, that's just that's just like the opening to hatred where it's like I hate everyone and hate everything. <laughs> I failed all my classes in junior high and now I want the world to die. <laughs> oh my god. Um does somebody I'm gonna finish this page and then Heller, do you wanna take over after that? Uh sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to start getting rid of people. The old man in the chair sighed, twisting the phone cord in his hand. The conversation had been going nowhere for the past fifteen minutes. The discussion how to handle the recent budget cuts had led to its only reasonable conclusion. We need to start cutting the fat, the voice on the other end said coldly. Work less people work less people for more hours. I'm not losing my bonus so that some worker can keep their job. I have a Ferrari to finance. I need that money. Yes, yes, I understand, the man said quickly, not wanting to be disagreeable. But I, I don't want excuses, the voice said on the other end. Wait, the voice on the other end said, I want people gone by the end of the week. Understand? And then I will, right here, where my mouse is. All right. He hung up the phone. Step up to the plate. The old man sighed, shaking his head somewhat, as he laid the phone down. He found himself worried that he may be asked to work more hours to make up for the loss of labor. That thought made him irritable. It was bad enough that he had to sit up on here in the office. But wait. It was bad enough that he had to sit up on here in the office all day, doing nothing. Sit he pressed up a button on, on the phone and leaned in. I bleh, I bleh, sit up on here in the office. What? Verbal vomit? What the fuck? Pardon <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. Community colleges have free courses. <laughs> oh my god. Just take just take a workshop class, please. I'm begging well, you. It's okay if you wrote it out like that the first time, Herman, but did you not read this back? I, I, I don't think he did. I don't think he does. What if you assume he even knows how to fucking write properly? Oh. Oh. He has a ghostwriter. Oh. <laughs> that would be fucking writer. that no. would be fucking hilarious like if that's the case <laughs> oh i'm gonna hate reading this next sentence <laughs> he pressed a button on the phone and leaned in could jack hear you come up to my office please thank jack you Kiryu. don't you fucking sully the work of yakuza Harmon, you son of a bitch <laughs> he leaned back in his chair his hands folded in his lap at the very least, he now finally had a good reason to get rid of Jack. Yeah. Jack Kiryu pressed his hand against the side of the door, staring inside with that arrogant look of his. Younger and fitter than a good portion of his staff. He had stood out ever since he started work. The man did not mince words. You're fired. He expected Jack to be outraged, but instead he simply cocked his head. Why? I don't need a reason, the man said shortly. Get out. He did wow. not look very surprised. They were trying to make sense of the situation. The old man felt himself seize up. He had never liked Jack. He knew from the moment he saw him he was trouble. That he would beat someone up or shoot up the place. <laughs> <laughs> that dirty look was get was fuck. That dirty look he was getting told him all all he need wait. That dirty <laughs> look he was getting told him all he needed to know. He My was glad to be seen the last of him. We could talk about what I'm doing wrong, Jack suggested, and work to get through it. There will be no discussion. Leave or I'll cause you... Wait, didn't he? Hold on. Did, didn't... 
Oh no, he didn't leave. Okay, I thought. Yeah, no, uh, he hasn't left. He got, he got fired. You know, he didn't it felt leave. like he did. <laughs> it felt like he did. Yes. Yeah, just a bad right? following of, of the scene. He's just thinking all of this in this room after he got fired, and his boss just staring at him like, "The fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <Sir? laughs> you self-reflecting yeah. right now?" <laughs> I no wonder he said he'll call security because he's just been sitting there thinking this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> out loud. Uh, <laughs> self monologuing. <laughs> No wonder he got fired. I did not look very surprised, but they were trying to make sense of the situation. The old melt. <laughs> oh, God. Oof. There was no need. Right behind Jack, a large, lumbering man stood, hands crossed in front of him. He was staring intently at Jack through dark sunglasses. Jack was still staring at him. That look with wait, wait, is Jack staring at the guy, or is Jack staring at the... Wait, what? I think they're both having a stare down. But, <laughs> but, but instead of said behind Jack is... A, Oh. Wait, there's another person? What? I didn't even yeah. follow that. <laughs> there was no need. Right behind Jack, a large lumbering man stood. Hands crossed <laughs> in front of him. He was staring intently at Jack through dark sunglasses. Jack was still staring at him. Okay, yeah, that's very confusing. Is he staring at the boss or at the lumbering man? Who are you staring at, Jack? He has, he has special eyes. <laughs> that look God. was deeply unnerving. He did not seem put off by what was happening at all. You know, he said, his voice ice cold, this isn't going to make you happy. He turned and walked up. Oh, he turned and walked off. The old man let out a breath he wasn't sure he was holding. Hold it, the burly man said as he reached out to grab Jack. Apologize. Jack glared at him too, and the man faltered. Don't touch me, he said coolly. I can see myself out. He pushed past the man and out into the entrance hall. He gathered his things, always thinking about where to apply at to... Oh, God, ah. Always thinking where to apply to first as he stepped out into the street. For most people, it would have been a bad day. For, uh oh, the, hold on. The, 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 the uh, fucking stream quality just dipped and I can't read the next sentence. Oh no, um, I am sharing it in the Discord as well. That's that, that's where I'm viewing it. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go, there we go. Uh, yeah, okay. For him, it was more of the same. You're fired. How many times had he heard that? Why is that in quotations? He thought to himself. And how many times did he actually deserve to hear it? How many more times would he hear it in the future? It always happened this way, completely out of nowhere, too. He wasn't even sure what had to be done, what he had done. The people he passed by on the street gave him a wide berth, as they always did. Jack was a far bigger and tougher looking... Wait, Jack was far bigger and tougher looking than most people. His present poor mood did little to make him seem more approachable. He had nothing in his bank account. He had bills to pay. He had barely been getting by as it was, and yet he already knew everything would be fine. He stepped into his, he stepped into his building, climbed the stairs, and reached his, for his key as he approached the door. It was unlocked. That, that's so... That's so unnecessary. There's so many words that didn't need to be there. I. Uh, I hey, uh... did you notice what his girlfriend's name was? Rose. No! Am I... Am I... Wait, what is, what is that? Why? What? Titanic? Jack and Rose? Ah, oh, no! <laughs> you hack fraud! Oh, you can't even come up with your own characters. My brother in Christ, <laughs> Google is free. Oh, fucking hell, Dr. Drag. Shooting up the place to do it with a Tech 9 or a Steven shotgun? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Copy of Yakuza he found in the dumpster outside of a GameStop. Oh, no. <laughs> Rose. She was becoming a bit careless. No one had come around to bother them since they had moved in. When a local gang tried to rob them the weekend they moved in, Jack caught them in the act and made them regret it. They hadn't had any problems with their neighbors since. He opened the door and shut it behind him, locking it. He turned to, a, to find a relatively spotless, clean kitchen. Oh no. He could see the TV in the other room playing something or other. Rose? He stepped inside and found her lying on the couch, fast asleep. He moved closer and sat down next to her. She shuffled in her sleep, yawning, and then snuggled deeper into the... Uh-oh. Stream, please. Oh, yep. Uh, oh, no. Into the cushions. There we go. Cool. Let me turn my wife off. There we go. Okay. He sat and watched the film. She had set it on some kind of automated loop. When it ended, what? it... Im why? It immediately transitioned <laughs> to... Wait, but TV... You don't need to. TV just... 
It does that. <sighs> All right. When it ended, it immediately transitioned <laughs> into the next one. Jack took the time to sit and muse over the situation, where he would apply to first. It was a while before she woke up. Oh, she sat up, blinking, as she looked at him. When did you get back? A while, he told her. Have a nice nap? She yawned again and stretched out like a cat. Rub. I don't, I don't like this. Rubbing her body against his leg. Rubbing her body against his leg. <laughs> Because I know, I know when I when I get down when I get back from work at the end of the night, that's the first thing I do to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Start rubbing up against her like a fucking cat. Yeah, she always looks at me, and then the next sentence she goes, she goes, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say the next thing she does is open up the can of tuna, and you get really fucking excited. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the next thing she was gonna do was to be to kick you out of the fucking house. I mean, that's the logical thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what gets followed up. <laughs> what time is it? Eight. Eight. She gave him a look. All sleepiness was suddenly gone from her expression. Shouldn't you be at work? I was fired. He told her. She let out an annoyed hiss of breath. Again? Unfortunately, he said casually as he leaned back into the couch. Why? I thought you said things were going well. They were, but it's always a but with you. It wasn't my fault, Jack said firmly. If there was a problem with what I was doing, they should have told me. I would have been more than willing to fix whatever it was. You said that last time and the time before that, Rose told him angrily. Jack, you're, you're the problem. Jack shook his head. No, uh, you are, she insisted, as she leapt out of the couch and onto her feet. Her bare, f oh no. Her bare feet turned on the hard floor to face him. You keep telling me that everything is going great, that you fixed all your problems, and that one day you would come back and try to play, uh oh, try to play off the fact you were, wait. <laughs> Hold on. You keep telling me that everything is going great, that you fixed all your problems, that one day you come back, and then one day, you come back and try to play off the fact you were fired. I'm not playing anything off, Jack said calmly. I wish it didn't happen. None of my friends can understand why I'm still with you, she went on. Every couple of months, you get fired and we have to start budgeting. I'm sick of it. She stomped her foot against the ground in her, in her anger. <laughs> I know, Jack said. They should have given me more warning so I can find something else. Rose was already shaking her head. No, she said as she backed up from the couch. No. No, don't give me that. Don't you dare. Uh-oh. Jack gave her a look. Calm down, he commanded. He commanded. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> Step up, <off>, Jack. <laughs> when with his size and stature, see, because apparently he's fucking Eddie Brock. There is just the Tekken 3 music calmly playing in the background. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, Hachi was on the screen as, J as Jin Kazama fall <laughs> fell off the cliff. <laughs> oh, you throw her off the volcano. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kazuya wins. <laughs> oh. I will find oh. another. I will not calm down, she screeched. We're, we're behind on bills again, and I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you. We're not behind. We paid everything off. We'll just pay them late again. She laughed. Oh, that's a great solution. Thank you, Mr. Kiryu. What happens if they shut down our power, huh? He frowned. You're being rude. Okay. <laughs> um, uh. So real quick, this is a side note. This is just, you know, Harmon, I know you don't know what it's like to pay your own bills, <laughs> but... <laughs> Power companies generally accept late payments without cutting you off. That's kind of a thing that they do in general. Yeah. So and on top of that, how is it rude when she's just pointing out the fact that, like, the power could get shut off? Yeah, like, it's natural <laughs> to get worried over bills and shit. Like, that doesn't seem rude to me. Yeah. That doesn't seem like an overreaction. I mean, yeah, like, the fact that, like, we have no she's money. just like, stop being rude. <laughs> we, we, we have no money. You got fired again. You're constantly getting fired, so I can't look good in your resume because it's hard to get a job. And we might lose, like, our utilities or even our house. You're being rude. Stop it. You don't think about anybody but yourself, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. He frowned. You're being rude. And you're pathetic, she snapped. <laughs> All my friends have real careers and real futures. You, though, you're nothing. You're what, pathetic. What does she do? Yeah, what, wait, what the fuck do you do? You're just sitting on the couch all She what was she on the on? fucking what she do? <laughs> Like, if all your friends have careers, shouldn't you have a career? Why are you direct, like, you're directing your personal issues with your own life towards your significant other? <laughs> this is very toxic. Projection. You can tell he's never been in a relationship just based off of this in, this interaction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he watched, <laughs> he watched, like, two Lifetime movies, and that was that. What no pussy does to a motherfucker. <laughs> He's never talk to a fucking woman. The, the, yeah, well, here's the funny part. Do we think he's actually jacked off successfully, or do we think he's still just, like, fucking edging because he still hasn't figured it out? Oh, How about, yes. I don't want to think about this. <laughs> I'm with Heller. I never thought cool this and beautiful. Just... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh... Uh, uh, you're Jack getting mad. <laughs> Sorry, shit. It's just Dr. Uh, Drag, you're getting massive Chris Chan vibes from this. I had a motherfucker in the comments yeah. on one of my Harmon videos say that this guy looks like a worse Chris Chan, so. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, yeah. No, that's a comment on one of my videos of Harmon. I had somebody say this guy looks like a worse Chris Chan. I, I mean, man, they're, that, not they're not wrong. They're not wrong. Yeah. That's not <laughs> and that's the sad part. I know. Yeah. Somebody's got the eye of the dragon. Like my brother in Christ, you drink water, you'd be amazed how, how much that helps. <laughs> my God. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Jack closed his eyes and leaned back into the couch, his leg crossed. You've been wanting to say this for a while, he said. Rose narrowed her eyes. Yeah? The reason your friends talk about the job so much, Jack said patiently, is because they have nothing else. Rose's mouth fell opened. Fell opened? Wait. Her lips tightened. Yeah, yeah, it just fell open. Fell opened. Fell opened. <laughs> she, fell <laughs> she fell opened. She fell opened. That like carries the same fucking energy as I for Gar. I for Gar. Fell open, I for Gar. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh. This is beautiful. This I should is have a work this of art. I shouldn't have done this over. Jesus Christ. And her lips tightened. How dare you? Get out. Rose gave a surprised start. What? Get out, he told her. I don't want to be around someone who thinks so lowly of me. Fine, I will. She stomped off. Jack turned back to the TV as she raced to their room and grabbed her bag. She had she packed quickly and efficiently. He had barely gotten time to get into the next film before she was standing at, at the door. I'll be back for the rest of my stuff. All okay. right, get a get a job then, bitch. Fuck. <laughs> Does she even have like a job at all? She belongs on the yeah, streets. She she kicked herself out. You belong to the streets. <laughs> God damn. Uh, that's not even in Jack's established character. Yeah, we we are gonna get into contradictions, Norman. Like these characters don't make any sense to me either. I will agree. Yeah, like like the only thing I can know, the only thing I can yeah, tell like, about Jack Kiryu, because that's his name. Remember one, uh, only not a polarizing first name and last name. Yeah, totally not totally consistent whatsoever. Like oh, oh my god. god, she slammed the door behind him as he slammed. God damn it, I already fucked up. She slammed the door behind her as she left him. Well, that was that. Time to look for that new job and maybe a new girlfriend while he was at it. <laughs> Man, move, boy moves on fast. Damn, that was oh my god, Jack. No what, emotional damn. investment in her whatsoever. Sigma I have Walmart for two things. <laughs> Sigma male grind set. Women are temporary. The grind is eternal. <laughs> like for real, <laughs> fuck. Gotta get a new job and a new bitch. The never bro did Star not Wars. give a single fuck. <laughs> no, she oh, walked right. out the door. She is like oh, meters from that door, and he's like, "Well, gotta get a new one." <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like, Anyways, Ford F one fifty. Time to go car shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man's treating it like he's gonna go get a new fucking car. Not even a new car, like a new fucking new mat car, for his go... car. Yeah, he pulls up to a fucking Chevy go dealership. Go to yeah, I'm gonna need a new. Uh, I'm gonna need a new Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> go 
fucking girlfriend's <laughs> RS picked out the newest model. <laughs> girlfriend's RS. <laughs> oh I need that GF double XR. You know what? Yeah, a little bit of cushion for the pushing. Why not? I'm treating myself tonight. I want the fupa. <laughs> she better have the fupa. <laughs> Let me do this. Can she throw it back for a real one? And does she have a, ba a backup, backup camera? <laughs> <laughs> Under Cody, what do you take me for? Of course. Right. This is DeVries. <laughs> Where did the you leave off, Heller? I'm sorry. Uh, last line. He spent the rest of the evening on the computer, filling out new applications. He had quite a lot of experience. He had had, he had had, he had had several jobs in the past several years. He was more than comfortable in applying for okay. all manner of things, from like, food service to factory workers to answer. Wait, hold on. Was that three pages already? Yeah, yep, yep. I know. It's hard to tell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yep, next tell. one is uh, BT. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Autism <laughs> ensues. Is, and that was kind of... <laughs> Autism <laughs> ensues. Where uh, may we be looking? Uh, up here in uh, food from food service <laughs> oh, to God. factory workers. The stream fucking blurred. Um, yeah, it does she... that from time to time. There yeah. we go. Lo siento. From food service to factory workers to answering phones. He hadn't been any good in any of those things and didn't particular particularly enjoy them either. But potential employees didn't need to know that. He just needs something that would give him money and a little respect. It's a period! Don't worry about it. There's no period! The period this died! The period this dipped faster than my fucking father figure. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> For legal reasons, that's a joke. My dad is, like, upstairs right now. <laughs> um, For legal reasons! <laughs> the FBI come back on the door. Mr. Likes and Rice, is this you? <laughs> oh no. Um, he had just finished filling out his 47th application when he began to notice it was getting pretty late. What? Although he had no job to get back to tomorrow, Rose did. Oh, so Rose does oh, actually have a job. Oh, okay. Kudos to her. Kudos to her. She had not returned yet. He got to his feet and reached for the phone. Hi, this is Rose. Please leave a message after the... Okay, motherfucker. You literally just kicked her out. And suddenly you decide to call her again. What he the was fuck ready to get a new one at the dealership okay. like 10 Can minutes ago. <laughs> Can I point oh. something out real quick? Yeah. He had just finished filling out his 47th application and then he noticed it was late. It was 8 o'clock at night, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like 8. And That's like, already kind of late. But the fact that he finished 47 applications and then was like, yeah, it's getting kind of late. Yeah, like, unless Motherfucker, he's on Indeed and doing fucking easy apply, like, that takes some time, my dude. Yeah, <laughs> it took me, my last application, I think, took me maybe 30 minutes. So, like, how the hell did you do 47 applications? To be fair, I haven't Fish filled it. one of those fuckers out in six years. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh, um... out, YouTube. <laughs> 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 uh anyways um beep. his voice came in through the other end she laughed and then the real beep went off they sounded so happy hey rose it's me he said i just wanted to check up on you and make sure that you're safe if you can't find anywhere to stay tonight feel free to the lion the witch and the audacity of this bitch this motherfucker literally just kicked out his girlfriend, not even, like, two pages ago. And suddenly he's just like, hey, uh, babe, want to come back? And he babe. said he would move on to the next dealership right away. Babe, <laughs> like babe. hell. Babe, come back. Like hell he fucking moved on. Like hell. Oh, it's like um, that episode of Futurama when the professor made all those, like, fucking screaming apes to call out mom and sit on the rooftop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, um... He put the phone... He put up the... Oh my... I can't read through this shit without, like, stopping every 20 seconds to just laugh at how bad it is. 
he put up the phone. What the fuck does that mean? That literally does not mean fucking anything. It's hung up the phone. Cody, do you, did you not pass fucking kindergarten or some shit? I swear, with this grammar, you probably didn't even get through fucking pre-K by this point. Literally, this hurts my soul to read. Oh, it's it's awful, like, man. <laughs> oh, God. He oh. put up the phone. You know what? Actually, I can't read that without getting angry. He hung up the phone and yawned. He doubted that she would be back, but he wasn't sure whether she had any friends who would be willing to deal with her. It blurred uh, on short oh, on notice, short I notice. think. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> That's well, of assuming. course she wouldn't fucking come back after you literally told her, get the fuck out of my apartment. But also, just to assume, like, if, if she's such a toxic personality that none of her friends would be willing to, to put her up for a night, like, why how are she you she have her, friends man? by that? Yeah, like, how does she have friends by that point as well? I feel like I'm reading, uh, like, the pre-episode for the Mari show. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> like I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for like I'm waiting for this to be a Jerry Springer episode. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Just Maury walks into the room after he tries to call this bitch back. Maury just walks into his apartment or wherever the fuck he lives. Like a lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> you don't want this bitch back. <laughs> Fucking John Quinones walks in. <laughs> this is hi i'm john quinones and this has been what would you do <laughs> the fucking cameraman comes out of the closet but his girlfriend's still gone <laughs> oh so is my girlfriend coming back no no <laughs> no she was not a paid actress unfortunately <laughs> wait how long would she have been a paid actress for by that point how long have they, did it say how long they were together I don't think it has nope. stated that at all. It has not. She certainly that? didn't have the money for a hotel. Oh my god. Yeah, wait, wow. wait, how could she not have money? You just established that she has a job. I mean, really? Like, she has no savings? Wait, so she does have a job? I missed that part. What? She does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was said, like, um, like I think, like, a previous page. Like, she has a job. Okay. So, like, how would she not have money for, like, a hotel? How... Uh, like a night at a hotel wouldn't be that expensive. Yeah, it's what like twenty. Even a motel. Yeah, like fucking like forty bucks, forty to sixty bucks maybe, like a hundred dollar deposit. Was it, yeah. yeah, like I can't see it costing too much. Mm -mm. Uh, continuing, he fell asleep almost immediately. His mind whirling with thoughts and plans of what he was going to do next. His dreams were soft and pleasant. He had a nice stable job. Oh, in the dream. I was about to say, he had a nice stable job that he just got fired from. <laughs> the people around him were wonderful and friendly. Rose was there and smiling. She looked happy and beautiful. He had very similar dreams for as long as he could remember. How different they were from the reality he faced every day. In the end, Rose was no different from anyone else. Bro, then why'd you fucking date her? Yeah. That's my. That's, that's my why he question. moved on so fast. You know yeah. what they say: love is blind. <laughs> Especially when you have blinders on. Love is blonde. Wait, what? You're right. Blonde people are dumb. Therefore, <laughs> love is fucking dumb. I actually okay. I thought that was in the book for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like the That's the type of writing we're working with here. I thought that was legitimate. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> All right. Um. He woke up. He awoke feeling refreshed. So refreshed, in fact, that he immediately leapt out of bed without even looking at the clock. He was halfway through with getting dressed before his eye fell on the clock. It was still in the middle of the night. Bro, what the fuck? This is why you look at the <laughs> clock. Wait a minute, but it was late when he filled out forty-seven applications. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, it was like eight. Was this night? It was it was like eight o'clock when the bitch woke up. She left him. He filled out a bunch of applications. He went to bed. So in the middle of the night, the earliest I could see this being is like what three, four in the morning. Yeah, maybe, but that's, that's, not, that's not like middle of the night. It's like almost morning. Yeah. So the, oh, yeah, the oh. fuck. 
Yeah, like... <laughs> uh, he stepped back into the living room and looked around. Everything was just as he had left it. He checked his phone, frowning. Rose had not called him back. He was a little wor- Gee, I imagine why she didn't call him back. It's only been they, 50 minutes. <laughs> yeah. They had fought, sure, and he was fine with the idea of them breaking up, but she had left rather suddenly with no real plan. He hoped she was alright. Well, oh, so nice suddenly... Guy. Oh, so suddenly he decided to fucking care. He you threw himself back into applying. A little this... disappointed when he realized he had not heard back from anyone yet. Uh, no, well, yeah, it's only been fucking yeah, 50 what? minutes. Yeah, Another Jesus. couple of hours passed by before he decided to call it quits and go back to bed. What? He what? still had is not it, heard what? from Rose. What time is what? it? Is it I don't fucking <laughs> also, like, could, like, This could be anywhere between midnight to like 8 in the morning at this point. <laughs> yeah. And what also, the hell, man? Like, dude, like, you understand that when you fill an application, it could take an upwards of like a week for it to respond, right? Like, oh yeah, no. I there, handed my like, application oh. into work, and it, they immediately called me back. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, all right. <laughs> it didn't oh, take God. them two months to get back to me. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have background checks on God. <laughs> <laughs> background check. Mm -hmm. You got a PT? Uh, sh shit. My bad. Um. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Dane Bramage he, kicking in. It's all good. Yes. It's all right, man. We're all dealing with <laughs> it. <laughs> he threw himself back into applying, a little disappointed when he realized he had... Wait, I read that already, didn't I? No, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> brain damage hours. <laughs> um... You know what? Let's move to the next page. Um, When he when next he awoke, it was so dark. He realized that at a glance... Oh, my... You didn't need to state he realized that at a glance. Yeah, he, if he... Still, yeah, he said he awoke, it was still dark. That's all you need to say. What the... F oh, my God. What is it, the Silmarillion? Oh, my God. <laughs> the Silmarillion. God. The lore. This the is lore like of one of the day. fucking Elcor from Mass Effect. Is, wait, no, when is this he man awoke, living in fucking Alaska? Yeah, when How he awoke, it, it was... For? Oh, my God. He Painful went to... He <laughs> <laughs> Slightly annoyed. He went to bed at eight. <laughs> he got home at eight. He had a fight with his woman. He filled out applications. He went to bed. He woke up. He was disappointed. He filled out more applications. He went to bed. He woke up. It's still dark. How long is he like, sleeping look. for? And what fucking time is it? Like, My look, girlfriend was on a sorry. I can't sleep for more than an hour if I wake up. I can understand it. Yeah, no wonder this guy can't keep a fucking job. He can't stay asleep long enough to yeah, fucking exactly. go to work. No job, no money. Human sad. <laughs> oh my god. This hurts. Where's he my tequila? Yeah, you're gonna need liquor. He did not feel as well rested this time. He pressed against his forehead and took in a deep breath, wondering if he was getting sick. It was then they had noticed that- Oh my god. They? They? What? Anyways, oh my god, I'm they so had for that. noticed the sound. It was a strange rhythmic thumping. He got out of bed and stepped into the hall. He realized the sound was coming outside the room. He reached for the door and opened it. Uh, he saw nothing at first. There, oh god, it's blurry. Sitting room was darking, darker than it should have been. He squinted as he stepped forward into the darkness, trying to isolate the sound. Ugh. Um. <laughs> I'm I... so sorry. <laughs> there were a couple of dark sh Okay, you know what? I will... Yeah. I'll just keep reading and pretend like I didn't just... Anyways. <laughs> there were a couple of dark shapes on the carpeted floor before him. He stopped, narrowing his eyes. He could make out a dark shape before him, twitching in its place. Under it, he could make out another, smaller shape. A uh, girl? What? Jack blinked, not really able to process the situation. The man lifted its... Its? 
Bro. What? It's not a. It's Did not an object. It's shape? a person. The man lifted his head upward, correcting your grammar for you, Cody. You're welcome. Uh, Hire me as a fucking editor, you dipshit. You could be his ghostwriter. <laughs> <laughs> his back facing Jack. Jack opened his mouth to rebuke him further, but his mouth fell open in shock as the head whirled around on its shoulders and stared directly at him. The eyes were a strange glowing white. The girl under him threw her head back, moaning. Oh, God. I... <laughs> Um, Someone uh, somewhere is into that. Uh, that is all I'm going to say. Oh, the next that. line is no stop. No. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Senpai, stop. Oh, God. Was, I'm going was, to hell. No, the girl under him was writing in pain. The girl writing under in... him was writing <laughs> in pain. <laughs> wait, 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 where? It, the what? next it's line. Right after no stop. The next line. Right. Oh my no. god. <laughs> what the Jack, fuck? Jack gritted his teeth and stepped forward. Get away from her. The bright white light brightened. He could have what? said intensified. Yeah, come on, my dude. But he, like that that's just repetitive as fuck if he said bright white light brightened. I mean you could get creative, but no. no Jack Grimace holding his hand across his face as he strode forward. The thing let out a surprised wail as Jack grabbed his its neck and ripped it upward. It was surprisingly light and small, far lighter than he would have expected. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Ugh. god. Raw. Like, Raw. <laughs> I can't breathe. He <laughs> grabbed its neck and ripped it upward. That implies he ripped the fucking head off. That's a fucking Mortal Kombat yeah. <laughs> fatality. fatality. Coke Zero. Oh god. I thought you said it was Coke Zero for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, Coke Zero too, him too, yeah. Also <laughs> Predator in every single one of its movies. Yeah. yeah. Weaponized autism, this is true. That is true, that PlayStation <laughs> gamer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jack slammed God. him against the wall so hard that a table nearby teetered and fell over. The thing let out an unearthly screech. Jack winced as the thing writhed under his grip. Its fingernails trailed over the skin on his arm, scratching his skin. It wasn't human, Jack realized. He really? wasn't sure. Hey, there's what a it period was. between that. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. It wasn't human, Jack. Cody, realized. I'm gonna fucking strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is. You, uh... He wasn't it... sure what it was, but he could tell that much. Its, school, its skin was unusually cool to the touch, and its body felt flaccid as though it was a penis. Oh no, he's fighting, he's fighting a semen demon. As, as, it was made, as if it was made of cartilage rather than bone. Alright, Psycho, you up next. Cartilage isn't flaccid. What? Yeah, I was gonna say. That is, that, that is, no, it's I not got, flaccid. Like, cartilage is soft, but it is anything but uh... flaccid. Like, if it was flaccid. Wait, how does he know it's fucking flaccid? What the fuck is he doing with the cartilage? Uh... Oh, <laughs> wait, is he a penis lizard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like he's describing a penis lizard, like, based off of what he. Like, I don't understand what he's describing, but it sounds like a fucking penis lizard. Uh. <laughs> Fucking cock goblin. It's a it's a cartilage <laughs> tentacle. <laughs> oh, oh yes, God. my favorite D and D character, the fucking cock goblin. <laughs> oh yeah, right. cock goblin. I mean, that's my favorite. Yeah, a cockold instead of a cobold or kobold. My favorite, my favorite boss in Baldur's Gate Two. <laughs> the cock goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time fucking. He's cock a goblin. bard, isn't he? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, fuck. So I'm off. Okay. How does he know fucking cartilage is flaccid? That's scary as shit. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know how, and I also don't know why Harmon thinks that cartilage means flaccid. 
That's yeah, I don't not what it means at Do, all. Feel your ears right now, everybody. Is that flaccid? No. Well, you guys I mean, it's kind of stiff, but I wouldn't say it's flaccid. The stiff skin, like, that would have made sense. I don't yeah. Know. Therapy you suffer for Literally, our sins. I'm about to. <laughs> how is this worse than cool and beautiful so far? I didn't hear "cruel and beautiful," so I have no comparison. This is just awful. yeah. I think this. I think this might be worse. Yeah. And I didn't think that was possible, but I think like, this might be worse. Cruel and beautiful, like like it got worse as it went on, but like for the first couple, like it would, I would encounter an issue like maybe every couple of paragraphs, but here we're getting one every single paragraph. Every oh, single paragraph. yeah, it's like a misplaced period, misspelled word, or like the sentence structure is mm -hmm. just off. No wonder yeah, like, this is his worst reviewed, um, his worst reviewed book on out of all of them. I'm glad this hurts me to read. It, it hurts me reviews. so much. Uh, well, I'm up. <clears throat> so, what are you? Jack demanded as he pressed it against the wall. Answer me! The thing let out a weak gurgle. The bright white light in its eyes fading. Jack stared at it. His eyes narrow. How many times is he gonna keep saying his eyes narrow? That's starting to bug me. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, this man's ba not gonna have any fucking eyes by the time he's he literally <laughs> his eyes are so narrowed at this point. He's just squinting, he can't even see anything. No more do they're just black figures to him. He can't fucking see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Don't want to talk, huh? The thing let out another cry as he Oh, blurry. The thing let out another cry as he raised his fist. He was just about to let him have it when a warm liquid splattered all over his oh, no. face. <laughs> it's come. It's a beautiful scene. I was right. Hey, <laughs> jumpy. No. Oh, shit. oh god, the next Finally, line. You have to okay. Write it that fucking way. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I got you covered for just one second. Can I? Can I play the next? I'm pretty uh, sure you know what you're. What I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I know what you're about yes. to do because I was about to make the joke. <laughs> yes, yes. I would like, I'd like I'd like to play this if you're okay with this. I know exactly what we need to <laughs> This yeah, is like, literally yeah. not the it burns part, but this is literally the next thing that's written. I can't hear it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wait, sorry. Yeah, the sorry, screen, let me play it for the screen share is gonna be uh, off on Discord, but the stream would have heard it. Yeah, stream definitely heard it. Stream has definitely heard it. <laughs> it burns! <laughs> literally, I can literally hear that shit yeah. without even like hearing the actual audio. I'm so glad I beamed this. It's so fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's literally. Okay. But yeah, that the was day... gonna be. I was gonna improv that line and just go. Improv. <laughs> <laughs> God, we. If any harm comes to Stu, I will literally burn this planet to the ground. Oh god, I love Stu. <laughs> yeah, so we're the good. Stu fucking, like, protective brigade. <laughs> we're the yeah, Stu not... fanboys. <laughs> like, he's meme material for all the right reasons. Oh, I know. All the genuine good things in this world are because of Stu. Yes. <laughs> he's the messiah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Stu... Oh, I'd fuck. accept Stu as the messiah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Harmon's the antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a reason I used him as the devil in our hellscape. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it would be funny if, as shit if he showed up to the stream and just went like, oh my god, someone's reading my literature, and then it turns out we're all just roasting the shit oh, out of just him. Listening, him listening to us just laugh. Are fucking my ass surprised because he did find my live readings of Cruel and Beautiful. He did. I'm not yeah. surprised. Oh, did he? I have to go yeah. find that. Oh shit. He he's he literally put out a thing. I think I sent it to you, Heller. He put out a thing. He's like, if I wanted to copyright strike this, I could. Yeah, and I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. Like, yeah, like that would literally be it. against United States law. But what also, and also against like, YouTube's terms of service. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. what I did was under fair use. It was, it was, in, it was it totally justified. So do it. Yeah, like come on. Like here's the thing. It was already transformative because like you were reading over it, and secondly, like you weren't trying to pass it off as your own work. 
Yeah, you, and it's not like you were selling it on Audible as like, here's the Audible <laughs> version of this book. Like, <laughs> like no. Like, like people, people oh my god. Like this all the time. It's a big thing on Twitch. Like, bro, you can't copyright strike this. <laughs> no, I've thought about doing <laughs> no, this. Like, to hire me if to you do can, the Audible version of it. <laughs> if Nostalgia oh. Critic and, uh, and Team Four Star can read Fifty Shades of Fucking Grey on their streams and and yes. pods and all that shit, we can do this. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're a public yeah. author now, Harmon. It means you gotta take what you gotta take everything that means. You're the one who told me, Harmon, in one of your in one of your streams that this is how you make money. So th in the long run, this shouldn't bother you at all. Oh yeah, this is free yeah. advertising. You're making yeah. money, right? Yeah. All right. I know. So, <clears throat> uh, hot liquid splattered all over his face, wherever the fuck. Tuh! He let the thing go, causing it to scamper <laughs> away as he wiped up, wiped. As he whipped, or yeah, as he wiped at his Wipe, face. Yeah. Ugh, as he wiped at his face, disgusted. Eh, blurry. It had pissed on him. It had pissed on him! <laughs> what the? Yes. How does he know what? he was pissed on? I'm pissed on the moon! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! The thing shot out of the room into the cool air and out of sight. Jack's first instinct was to chase after it. He didn't want it going at, uh, going after another woman, but he quickly realized that he had not yet checked up on the first girl. He made his way over to her and bent over, trying to make out her features. So, trying to look at her face? <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> That's an odd way to put that, trying to make out her features. <laughs> would have been like, she could have said, like, trying to look at Check her, her face. Check her stats. Trying... Trying yeah. to like, check her status, trying to, check trying her to pulse, identify trying to see her. It seems like he wants to fucking, like, grope her. It yeah, it's like, yeah. like <laughs> trying to make out her like, features sounds like he's looking at the fucking hips and thighs, man. Bro, it's just like, Yo, girl, he's, it I... sounds like he's going like, <laughs> give me your titties, baby. It's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. she got roofie for free. <laughs> <laughs> no evidence leaks back to me. <laughs> the, the dick goblin gave me an idea. He pulls out his big Yeah, it's another person's, it's another oh, person's yeah. urine on him. It's fine. <laughs> uh, hey, are you... He stopped. Rose? He breathed as he cupped her face in his hands. Wait, as he cupped her face in his... That's awkward. Rose, okay. she did uh blurry fuck. Uh she did not move. She seemed to be hyperventilating. Well, that would imply movement. Hyperventilation isn't fucking still. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? She would be moving. <laughs> uh, yeah, I <laughs> Okay. Rose, are you doors banged open? Jack looked up, surprised, as the lights suddenly flickered on. Ja Wait, the Jack lights were off? Apparently. Jack looked up again, because that's not redundant. Jack looked up as person after person filtered into the hall, staring at them. What took you so long, Jack snapped. Someone call a... <laughs> eh, sorry. What took you so long, Jack snapped. Someone call a doctor. Uh, the people around them... Oh, fuck blurry. The people, the people around him were staring at him with accusing stares. Jack narrowed his eyes. What? So let, uh, so let me make sure I have your story straight. Okay, so there's, that is a massively weird jump to another paragraph. Yeah, um, okay, I, I was gonna bring this up. So I noticed this is a thing he does in Cruel and Beautiful. When he wants to do a scene change and he wants to denote that it's happening, he will use, he will use the three dot, uh, E, e uh, what's it called? Uh, ellipses? ellipses, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah ellipses. Um, that's what he does. When you see that, that's so a scene change. What normal oh authors God. will do is, you, you see how Harmon breaks up all of these paragraphs awkwardly? He's doing yeah. he's doing it right here where he's got the actual broken paragraph, but with all the other broken paragraphs that he has, it really fucks you up on the transition. Because what a normal author yeah. will do is it'll be like one block of text, and if they want to separate them from another, instead of separating them into different paragraphs, they just uh, indent it or whatever, you know, like when you press tab. Yeah, or there's a page break, or there's something like, mm. yeah. Literal first grade. Or it'll just cut the page off, and you'll flip to the next page, and then, you know, scene transition. Oh my god. Yeah, like, there's so many ways that it could be done, and he just fucks he all just, of it up. He just did it the most, le like, the least effort, like, it's not even that it's low effort, it's the fact that it just, it's low effort, plus, like, it's very confusing with how he structured the rest of this. 
do you think he considers this like his style? <laughs> this yeah. is what makes me yeah. unique. If that's the case, then his style is fucking bad writing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what makes me unique. Um, hello. <laughs> like, oh. Objectively, and you know what's funny too? This man has shit on like other authors, like George R. R. Martin, Tolkien, oh oh Rowling, God. and I'm like, you're picking some of the best authors of all time to. Uh, I mean, granted, you know, take take uh, politics and shit aside. I'm like, you're you're picking like some of the most classic works of all time to shit on. Okay. Interesting move. Interesting choice. <laughs> like, George R. R. Martin's worst fault is that he hasn't finished the books, Martin! Yeah, and it yeah. would be so easy for him. He could just take the most popular fan theory and just be like, yep, that's it. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. it's literally been done for him. He's doing everything <laughs> except I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, at this point, I think I'd rather be reading Twilight than Harmon. <laughs> Oh, 100% no, I funny, would be. It's funny, I read Twilight in middle school as, as part of a... Uh, I had to read of, part of, of the segment. fourth book. One of them, anyway. It's like a yeah. two-parter or whatever. And, That's a rough yeah, one. Yeah, no, that book is infinitely better written than this. Yes. Well, it's had, it's, I, one thing I can... She at least went to school. A huge, so, I mean... <laughs> I can give over, a huge pro I can give to Twilight over this is it has an actual... Like, it has a coherent amount of sentence structure and paragraph structuring. Yep. I can actually follow what's happening there. It makes sense. I, I see the events that are happening. They're they're told in a coherent and, and easy to understand way. Wow, yeah, the, look the at plot that. and narrative what? is dog shit, but everything's structured <laughs> well in terms of a book. At least you understand what's happening. Exactly. Yeah, like at the very least, it respects the reader's time. <laughs> yes. <Yep. laughs> yes, that's basically it. This does not respect your time at all. <laughs> like, no. fuck. We've wasted pages getting pretty much fucking nowhere. I still don't know where we are in this plot. No, we're still in chapter one. I know that, but it's like, what where do you the mean we're still in chapter one? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> this is real quick, chapter sorry. one. You're, you're I'm curious real quick. No, hold you're on. Bullshitting. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to see how long it is till chapter two, because I want to be able to at least get to another chapter. Um, How... Where's chapter two? <laughs> I'm looking for it as well. I can't. I don't see it. It doesn't fucking indented or changed even the fucking text size. No. Oh my. Shit. Oh my god. Wait. How long is this chapter? Oh, where the fuck is this shit? <laughs> this is oh my so god. Bad. There it is. <laughs> no. No. Harmon. He could have Harmon. Folded it. <laughs> Bold, Wait, italic, motherfucking asshole. Upsize the font. Holy fuck. There's so and many why, things you could do. Why Why was the first chapter, why was the name of the chapter underneath this chapter, and then this one is just right next to it? What? What? Guys, I think I've... <laughs> status ailment, I think I've acquired autism. I, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm actually dying. God. Um. Okay. Now I gotta figure out where I went back to. Uh, I got confused because there was something in here about. Okay. Yeah. Right there. And I was. Ellipses. Yeah, we oh wait. wait, wait was it? Yep. The ellipses. That's what I was. Yep. 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 Okay. Cool. All right. So, uh, staring at him, blah blah. blah. So yeah, a bunch of people walked out in the hallway, and he yells, "What?" So let me uh, let me make sure I have your story straight for uh, for the record's sake. The officer told him as he tapped his pencil against the clipboard. You and Miss Rembrandt broke up. Is that how I pronounce that? I'm guessing. Yeah, Rembrandt. Yeah, Rembrandt broke up uh, around eight, <laughs> and we still don't know what time it is in the real world. <laughs> it's, it's still dimension. dark. Is it still dark, Harmon? How many days it has been dark? <laughs> The sun just does not exist over there. <laughs> yeah, 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 the yeah, order of the dragon, power. actually. <laughs> By the way, serious lack of dragons for this book named with dragons. Also, <laughs> real quick, uh, he named her after a flower. Yep. Rose Rembrandt. Is a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> a rose. Oh god, no, I'm just thinking of that too. Oh me. Fuck. <laughs> This Eat my rice. I can't do this shit. <laughs> Your rice brain. We gotta get Feed it out of me. there. 
<laughs> Boil me. <laughs> I can only give so something. much therapy before I need some myself. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> God I mean, damn. Hey, man. No shame in asking for help. <laughs> it took this is why I did it, boys. This is what we've all been leading to. <laughs> okay, let me actually try to get this. This is an Avengers page. level threat. <sighs> okay, so you and Miss uh, Rembrandt broke up around eight. We had a fight around eight, Jack told him, crossing his arms. I got the impression we were breaking up, but I thought she might come back. If you had the impression you were breaking up, then why would you think she'd come back? Yeah, well, <laughs> That's a direct contradiction to the yeah, first like, statement. How Actually, if, she, if he has the impression she'd come back, how fucking often have they fucking broken up? This is a toxic relationship. I called it from the first, like, interaction yeah, right. they had in this book. This is toxic. Yeah, like, that does not seem like a healthy relationship. Like, Harmon knows nothing about relationships. He's just like, ooh, whimsy, hair blowing in the wind. Like I said, Lifetime movies. <laughs> lifetime movies. <laughs> I got the impression we were breaking up, what but I no thought she might come does back. to a motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. All right, the officer said, uh, and... All right, the officer said, and she stormed out after. Uh, and she stormed out after you told her to leave. Yeah, I let her pack her things, and that was that. And then uh, later that night, you found a creature molesting her in the hallway. <laughs> I can't read that with a laugh. No. <laughs> okay, so one, I don't think any normal sane person would explain that. To the doctor, I, mean, I wouldn't say that to an reasons. officer. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, like, like I think at most you would just say, yeah, there was some guy was assaulting her and he got away. You'd say some guy or something assaulted her, not like, yeah, oh, there was a strange a, amalgamous he used, creature. He used a male pronoun for the creature, so why not just call it a him? Yeah, I. Oh. I think that I think a genuine mistake. I think he. I think he did that mistakenly. I think he wanted yeah. to say it. Its head came up, or something like that. I don't think he meant to put that fucking pronoun in there. He makes Neil Breen look like fucking Martin Scorsese. <laughs> Neil Breen is Martin Scorsese, sir. I that is you. true. Neil why Green did you commit suicide, Jim? Jim, why would you commit suicide? <laughs> you I can't help you out of this one, Jim. <laughs> I can't no, help you I out of this one, Jim. I heard. The wrong okay, reason. no, what I heard, I can't help you out of this one, Jim. I verbally died laughing like I could not retain it I'm like well no fucking shit he's dead yeah like uh -oh. I'll be right here always oh my fuck I've not watched that movie Just I know more about Neil Breen scene. I, I know enough about Neil Breen I could probably do a fucking documentary on him like he's in like he's a fucking um what's the word architect in, in Las Vegas Nevada that's why one of like most of his movies are always in the desert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I watched multiple interviews. He won't tell you how much his movies cost, but he wants you to guess how much you think his movies cost. That's too fucking dull. Why would you risk that? Why would you allow that? Yeah. All and right. he's always got, he's got like a messiah complex. Sorry, that's my Neil Breen tangent for the day. Continue. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Um. And then later that night, you found a creature molesting her in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> Why would he say it like that? And you fought it off? Where's the question mark? That's is I, that I, a, I is that supposed that to be a, as state? a, as a statement? Yes, yeah, but a statement. but she's and asking. Fought it off. But she's saying it like a question, though. I think I I I think what Harm is trying to do is trying to have the, the officer recant what Jack. Yeah, I get that, him. but still, yeah. in this context, they would still be imposing that as a question. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and somehow, no one else on the floor noticed this. Jack nodded, his face serious. Yes, that's right. The officer glared at him. You're in a lot of trouble, kid, he said. Wait, wasn't the officer a she? Or wait, no, never mind, that was, never mind. I don't mind. think the gender of the officer ever, yeah. uh... Okay. No, I was thinking of the gender of Rose when the officer was speaking about her. Mm, yeah. Mm. Um, Jack nodded his face. Um, the officer glared at him. You're in a lot of trouble, kid. He said, you lured that girl back to your apartment so that you could rape her. <laughs> oh! Bruh. No, I didn't, Jack corrected him. I went to look for her. This doesn't look good for you, boy. <laughs> Why would you say I went to look for that? Like, no! Like, what, like, like, what, so, 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 no. This, you know, I think this man lured, wanted to lure the woman back to the apartment so he could rape her. <clears throat> and she decided, fuck it, the hallway's good enough. 
<laughs> Why would I need to fucking bring her back to the room? Can't get her any further. Well, she's pre-roofied. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> they won't Why find my cum in the floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I went to look for her. This doesn't look good for you, boy, the officer told him. As he fing... <laughs> I blurred right when I read finger, no. As he fingered his baton threateningly. <laughs> no. What are Long you doing to that baton? Oh, wait. No, wait, what? What? What, do you, what do you mean finger his baton? Officer, I'd like to make a citizen's arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Please, word, what are you doing to that the baton is inhumane. <laughs> Where were you between the hours of eight now? <laughs> Uh, I would be a bit more worried if I was you. You have committed a serious crime. I'm innocent, Jack drawled. <laughs> As he leaned back in his chair and propped his it leg up drawled. on the desk. Yeah. I haven't heard that word in fucking forever. I have, it I just it did catch me a little off guard. Is that even, is that even the proper use for that here? To be honest, yeah, it is, I think. Okay, I'm not I sure. I think it might be. I Hold on. Like, I know it can what? be used, like, um, draws isn't, uh, like, I know it can like, be used in a similar context, but I wasn't sure. I watched a Western one. where they said that once. Yeah, because it means speak in a slow, lazy way with prolonged vowel sounds. Yeah. Yeah, like, okay. Don't... You gotta draw It can also be, boy. like, attributed to an accent. Like, so if wait. you say someone has a southern drawl, it means they have, like, a southern accent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's as like, as but know, Jack is Jack doesn't have that because his like, last name is Kiryu. So Jack yeah. drawled and he said, "I'm innocent." So whether be like, "I'm innocent," <laughs> I'm innocent, <laughs> officer. I'm innocent. I, I didn't do nothing. Sounding like one of the guys from a fucking Ford F-150 commercial. Ford F-150. Have you ever been beaten over the head the with a difference between this <laughs> All right, so I'm innocent, Jack, and it blurred. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm innocent, Jack Drawd, as he leaned back in, a, uh, in his chair and propped his leg up on the desk. Honestly, the only thing I'm worried about is how Rose is doing. The man snorted but said nothing. The man or the officer? Get, 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 get your things straight here, Harmon. Uh, Jack maintained his story throughout his interrogation. Always sure to ask after... Uh, always sure to ask after Rose when the... In Wait. Okay, always sure to ask after Rose when the inquiries were done with. That's a very strange... Eh, okay. No one seemed to want to answer his questions. List, mo uh, list most people. The officers seem to Even have... less? Yeah, I'm just assuming. Lest most... I don't know what he's trying to say here, to be honest, because that doesn't even list sound like it fits most... in the context. Yeah, what... No one seemed to answer his question. Lest most people, the officers, seem to have made up their minds about him before he even brought it. What? It doesn't make sense in either context. Yeah, what the fuck? That just, that just further confuses this. Okay, moving on. Okay. <laughs> things things went on like that for a couple of weeks. It has felt like a couple of weeks, Harmon. It does. <laughs> Jack Long, Jack lounged in custody, uh, whiling away the hours in between interrogations as he waited for the results to come through. He could tell by the way the police spoke to him that things were not going their way. Despite the seemingly compromising position they had found him in, they had no real evidence to pin on him. I, I guess fair. I mean, are they going to examine the pee that is on him? I'm very curious about that. Actually, that's a good question. That is DNA yeah. evidence. Like, you, they could use that to... Like, that is biological ev evidence on him. <laughs> like, even 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 if the, the results become inclusive, because it's from, like, an unknown entity, they could probably, like... Like, there's probably something, something... Well, like, yeah, they'd be able to identify that it's Earth. not human. <laughs> it's like... Or at the yeah. very least that, hey, there's, there was something on the girl that, is, that was also on him. That's yeah. strange. This isn't an objective police investigation, nor is it thorough. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. shitty, to be honest. They asked him some questions. <laughs> and he's in a big city? Okay, yeah, mm. sure. When Go the girl, off, Queens. Okay, so when the girl is in a position to speak, you are going to be a world... You are going to be in a world of pain, buddy. You are going to be a world... No, you are going to be a world of pain, buddy. Words. <laughs> I... Every other sentence, Harmon, you are fucking me up with your grammar, your sentence structure, every single thing. I I, can, I have I have a little bit of trouble reading aloud as it is. I can read fine in my head, but reading aloud, I kind of stutter and shit as it is. Harmon is That's not making that any better. No, Harmon is like reading a worded stroke. 
<laughs> yeah, like. yeah, it's like it's like stroke in verbal form. Ugh. Uh, okay. uh, I'll let you read this this sentence, and then I'll, I'll do the next couple. Don't uh, stroke these duck. Okay, so when, this, <laughs> when the girl's in position to speak, you are going to be in a world of pain, buddy. I hope she gets better soon. It took several days for Rose to pull herself together to give her testimony. Jack was brought in... Uh, oh, God, it blurred. Jack was brought in... To you see? see. Uh, Jack was brought in to see, escorted by armed guards in handcuffs. He smiled at her as she met his eyes. Bruh. How long has this been going on? Because they're not gonna hold him in custody for fucking weeks. Yeah, no, like, like she must have, she must have like recovered within like a couple hours, right? Yeah, I mean, it had what to the be. fuck did the thing do to her that she was out for that long? She, her wounds or anything weren't explicitly <laughs> stated either. He peed exactly. on her. <laughs> he peed well, on also, her. Like, well, also, like, like we, like when they described what Jack was seeing, it wasn't, it didn't seem like any like molesting kind of going on it was just like he was doing something yeah it was like it was something not on top explicit. of her but he described it as molesting that was it yeah, yeah. like it's, yeah like uh, it's impossible to really know what the fuck it was doing to her i guess god this is okay it's like okay no hard. it's really bad writing is what it is because harman's trying to maintain this like air of illusion uh, this like veal of illusion of like the mystery and shit, but he's doing a but really bad job. Well, no, he's just doing a really fucking bad job of trying to hide yeah. his plot details while trying to make them seem like a mystery at the same time. You know, like yeah, you're, you're supposed to feed. You're supposed to feed the reader like little hints and tidbits so they can kind of like string things together as they're reading along. Harmon's trying to do that, but in the worst ways possible. Yeah, you got yeah. like a web, Harmon. Each individual points are connected, even seemingly like not connected at all. But when you look at the big picture, it all converges. And like, oh, I get it. But yeah. he doesn't. Armin watched one episode of Law and Order where they where they showed you the killer, and he's like, I got it. <laughs> I got news for you. That means you get. You watched that episode and only that episode. <laughs> I haven't watched a single episode of Law and Order, like uh, in my life. You're Not lucky. Bad. I've seen tidbits, but I've never seen a full episode. That's not terrible, but it's yeah, it, it could be better, but yeah. it's watchable enough. Yeah, yeah basically. Oh, I'll never Is this get over the that fucking SBU one though. That means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> relationship with women, it's sex with men. I got news for you. That means you're gay. Uh, real My quick. favorite is that. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, it's just real quick shout out to fucking Golden Apples and Gamer Boy for showing up. We're reading Harmon, so. Yes. I'm not thank reading you, a lot thank of you chat. Thank you, everybody. Apples. We are yeah, not reading chat. a lot of chat. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and living through this with us. This is, I genuinely do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, if you guys haven't subbed to any of to any of us, please consider subbing uh, yeah. to my lovely co-hosts here as well. We, they are we, fantastic. Not a lot of opportunities to read chat because we're reading this and shit-talking Herman a lot. So. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. And we're not even through chapter one yet, so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh, is this the man who did it? Sorry, this is me transitioning. Transition <laughs> 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 like Herman, guys, look! <laughs> uh, she bit her lips. I don't remember. She murmured clearly, tearing up. Jack instinctively stepped forward closer to her, only to be pulled away by his escort. You mean his guard? <laughs> yeah, Can I, I speak to her when she's feeling better? Jack asked immediately after he was taken away. Maybe mm -hmm. I can get her to remember what really happened. The officer glared at him. Playing the nice guy isn't going to save you, dipshit. I'm not playing at anything, Jack shot back. It was another week before he saw her again. <laughs> Wait, so Dude, just how did this go to trial? Jail? Yeah, he went to. He, it's like he went to like federal right after this. It's like that's not how the fucking system works. Yeah, like county jails. I think at most they keep they can keep for like two or three days. Yeah, I think at most it's like forty eight hours or something like that. But like, how did this go from him like being the prime set? Like, it, there wasn't even a trial. We're already on the trial, but nothing has happened up until that point. To even insist, like, what happened to a lawyer? Wait, is what it a happened? Trial or is it just no? Wait, hold on. I, I, I don't wait. I don't think there's any indication there's a trial happening. It's just that for some reason he's just in the fucking. Okay. See, maybe I'm maybe I'm just instinctively can, thinking it is I just, because I, like 
Can I just say that everything we've read up to this point feels like this should have been a prologue to what was actually going to happen? Yes. Yeah, yeah the yes. prologue, as, as so far, had zero relevance. Yeah, no, the prologue was completely different characters. It had weird cat people I don't understand. Actually, right. now that I think about it, the fact that the, now we know, thanks to the prologue, oh, there's weird mystical creatures in this universe, that whole veil of illusion... Is also is further broken with that because we, cause we as the reader already know there's something weird in this universe. So yeah, why yeah, did like, bother try to hide it? Yeah, like by this point, it just kind of like I said, very poor writing skills for trying to string you along with mystery. <laughs> it's just Ugh. bad. You can tell he just didn't read the spec. Like I feel like if you cut out the he, prologue they have now, it would have been okay, I guess, but. You know, I what we have would now have been slightly just... more coherent, but not by much. Yeah. Tell us, Rose, the female officer at her side said, squeezing her shoulder. Tell us who did this to you. They... Okay. It's the Rose female... stared Hang on, hang on. Is the female yeah. officer, the white, 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 blah, the white dress lady. <laughs> oh. Oh. Could be. Could be. Hey, yo. Oh my God, that would require a thought, but. <laughs> 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 We're putting more of that into his writing than he is, so we'll it's see. Just, the way she suggested that to Rose just felt like that feels like something the the white dress lady would have did. That is true. That is true. My that's my favorite character, the white dress lady. That has yeah, we don't have names, guys. That reminds me. Actually, that reminds me, Heller. You remember Retronomicon, right? Yeah. So he and I were talking about Harmon's stories one day, and he brought up that like he was rewriting Cruel and Beautiful. In, like, a better fashion. I haven't seen, like, all of it yet, but I can only assume it's probably better than whatever the fuck Harmon wo wrote. Oh, definitely. Like, no did doubt he, in my mind about did that. Did he keep the shark man? I don't. <laughs> better. Bruce, Bruce was the MVP. Yeah, the fact that they called the shark man Bruce <laughs> is what killed me. <laughs> What oh, the f oh, my God. oh, hang on, hang on, everybody, I have to address something in my chat. Gamer Boy Bathwater, why does YouTube say you are playing Shower with your dad simulator? I put it there as a meme. I put it there as a meme because Rice told me to. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, 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 it was I who told him to, to send this. It's, it's for a joke, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, joke, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A joke. <laughs> Yeah, Rice is my I dad, don't you know? My dad simulator. Rice is my dad. I'm taking a shower with him right now. Hell yeah, boy. Hey, Good yo. <laughs> hey, I yo. Softly. I spoke softly and carried my big stick into that shower. <laughs> <laughs> Rose stared at him, her lip quivering. I don't know, she said, but I think it must have been... She stopped and then violently violently shook her head the officer looked up good enough she said shortly what? lock him up what <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> wait no wait no wait what oh my wait, god no, wait what where are we wait what, what is wrong with these police Bro, where are we <laughs> that's not how you fucking convict someone <laughs> the officer pulled at jack's handcuffs roughly trying to get him to move he did not even budge rose he said quietly you know i saved you don't you Shut up! His escort brought up a baton and smashed it against Jack. Why? Is this Bro, why? Brutality? He's not even doing anything. <laughs> so he not reeled. only does the police have no <laughs> fucking clue how to in investigate something, they're Just falsely arresting a man, and brutality. on top of it, police brutality. It's police Ma brutality. <laughs> and man, was this the man who assaulted you? Uh, I don't. I don't know. It must All have right, been. No, fuck him up! <laughs> <Let's>, like, <laughs> get his ass! This is yeah, the worst. Good okay, enough. Let's just after, fucking throw him in the slammer now. After bitches. the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, this is the world that everybody wanted for anybody that was oh on God. Amber Heard's side. This is the world they wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Harmon. Harmon is like an, is like somewhere between Amber Heard and like. <laughs> Oh and quantum, I guess. Yeah, like you know, I mean, how... they're both equally narcissists. Yeah, it's also they're all bad. Like you know how Johnny Depp speaks, like with a slower tone of voice and shit. Yeah, he's got a draw to some extent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. That would be how fucking this got. 
it here's the thing <laughs> never mind you know what i forgot just just carry saying, on are you saying okay. imagine jack kiryu as just johnny depp yes like he would just be <laughs> speaking so fucking slowly <laughs> rose <laughs> shut up <laughs> you know i saved you don't you uh, his escort brought up a baton and smashed it against Jack's face. He reeled, blood pouring down his nose. He staggered, little as the man reined... Wait, what? He staggered, little as the man reined him in, dragging him away. It's all right, sweetie, the female officer said quickly, squeezing Rose's shoulders, ignoring it's her right. horrified expression. He only tried to... He's only trying to manip manipulate you. We all have... We we have all the evidence we need. We just need your support to get him convicted, all right? Uh, but I really don't. If we wait, we'll if we wait, we'll have to release him. The officer said firmly as Jack was dragged away from her. You don't want that, do you? You people are pathetic, Jack told him as he was thrown back into his cell. You're manipulating her. The officer ignored him as he reached for his key. Jack could feel his blood boiling. You aren't helping anyone by trying to prove me guilty. Do you know that? Her rapist got away, and all you care about is finding someone to pin the blame on. You did do it, the man told him, his told him, his voice gravelly. We have countless witnesses who have no reason to lie to us. No, you don't. They saw nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> no, yeah, like, they, they saw him a checking sec. on 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 a on a victim. They had no proof. They what? <laughs> And also, on top of it, like, here's the fucking thing, okay? So, basically, they walked in as she was getting, you know, raped. And... He was fully clothed. Yeah, that that's the thing. Like, he was fully fucking clothed. There was, was also clearly... no sign of his clothes being disheveled. No. Or, like, like really anything. He wasn't concerned trying to figure out what we're, happened to her. We're all still overlooking the mystery urine. What yeah. fucking mystery? The mystery of why the fuck got, Harmon Smith is also right never said he got shit? wiped off. So does that shit just still stink on him? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. he got covered in <laughs> mystery <laughs> piss. What yeah, happened to the mystery like, piss? He smells like creature piss just 24 7. <laughs> we are not gonna Did let the you... officers not recognize he was covered in mystery piss and she was dry? What well, the fuck? on the outside. <laughs> she was laying there on the floor being molested by random I mean, shit. I guess rape kits don't exist in Harmon's yeah, world. Yeah, exact, exactly, right? Like... He was fully clothed and covered in piss. <laughs> That's all I have to say. If anything, it sounds like she did shit to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. She fucking, like, squirted her shit all over him, and then he, like, passed out. And <laughs> this, this is so much more retarded than I could have thought, but not for the reasons I would have thought. Oh my God. Uh, I'm happy I picked this one, because not only is this a much better read than Rabbit Hole, but it's a lot less racist than Rabbit Hole. So <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Yeah, R Rabbit Hole was it lived up to its name, but not in the way that I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we gotta fucking read that sometime. Like, oh. off stream, preferably, since, you know, you mentioned it's kind of racist. Yeah, yeah, well, here's the deal, right? Like, there are words in there that I don't feel comfortable saying as, like, a straight white male. Like, there are the things that, like, I mean, yeah, you got the bundle of sticks word, but then you've literally got the most racist Chinese <laughs> words that I'm like, oh, oh no. Uh, I don't. I don't say that. <laughs> makes sense. But, yeah, I was like, I'm good. Is there any actually, mention of Wuhan in that book anywhere? <laughs> uh, no, but the character's name is Will Wei. Oh, no. So, oh, no. so, yeah, uh, we are not going to let you go just because your victim is too traumatized to implicate you. Jack spent the rest of the night trending, tending to his aching jaw and thinking deeply about the situation this they had both found themselves in. Legally, they have to let him go if there's no evidence. That's the uh, process works. Uh, they were both in serious trouble, though, the, though yeah, through no fault of their own. Rose would have to live with what had happened for the rest of her life, and the police were doing nothing to help her. The thought made his blood boil. If Rose was led to believe that she had been living with someone who ended up raping her, it would probably destroy her inside. No, that was something else. Oh. <laughs> the next day began as I'm, any other. I'm, I'm sorry. He, okay, I just have to... What? 
Okay. No. Jack is not a normal human, because no normal human in this instance would be sympathizing with the person that's pretty much getting them in this situation at this point. You can feel well, bad like, for her, yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, like, he's... Lit all of his turmoil is focused on her when he's he's got no worry for his own shit right yeah. now. Right, but you have to remember, too, he visibly saw the 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 uh, the uh female officer taking advantage of, of Rose while she was... While she was yeah, in, while okay, she was in a that is true. Yeah, yeah, but what what I'm trying to say is all of his turmoil is focused on her. He's got, like... A normal human would be somewhat worried of what's happening to them right now. Or he would have lawyered up. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, we might actually be getting to a lawyer. Let, let's see here. The next day began as any other. He awoke, ate, ignored the glares from passing guards, and lounged around his cell, waiting for something to happen. He barely registered the sounds of heels clicking down the hallway or words spoken to the guard. Mr. Kiryu, he yawned, turning his head to the side to look at the person standing at his cell door, and then quickly sat upright. The woman standing there adjusted her glasses, unsmiling. What? It's her great. wild her wild gold hair ran down past her shoulders in waves. She was stunning, smartly dressed, and rather she struck What? Smartly rather dressed struck... and rather she struck a rather impressive figure. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, 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 hello, uh, Jack said. This is inter this oh it's oh god. I'm having okay, I'm stroking. I'm stroking. His interest That's the immediately only... pe pe peaked. Or PQ, Thank however you. you want to pronounce that. Pete. Uh, what's, your, what's your name? Uh, she did not answer him. Instead, she turned to the guard and gestured for him to open the door. He obliged, albeit reluctantly, and she confidently stepped inside. Jack found himself impressed with her posture. What? Okay. <laughs> she right. stood her, tall. Her, her she back stood man. tall and completely straight. Her back she seemed to have a strong and confident personality. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kiryu, oh my god, look. it's Lady D. No. Is it Lady D? It sounds like Lady D. Wait, who's <laughs> Lady D? Lady Dimit oh. Dimitrescu? Dimitrescu. Oh, oh. Yes. Dimit oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I think this was before that, actually, because yeah, it was like 2020. Before. Yeah, like, there's no way he's, he's modern this up as Lady Dimitrescu. That is true. I also forgot he hates Resident Evil Village, so... Of course he does. Yeah. yeah, like, I remember yeah, Josh made a video responding like to him about vampire. it. Bro, imagine hating Lady Domitresk. Oh Couldn't God. be me. Imagine hating Resident Evil Village in general. That game's awesome, but that's just me. Just kidding, um, Heisenberg supremacy. Fuck all of you. <laughs> yeah, that fucking Akira fight at the end. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. I'll take it every time. That boss mm. fight at the end was pretty emotional. I liked it. I like. I. I don't know. I'm a big werewolf, like gothic horror fan too. So like that whole aesthetic did a lot for me. I just liked a lot. I just liked a lot of the clear references to uh, RE4. They clear that there's like this yeah. Like, what if we did RE4 again? Yeah, Not but we did it with like insane amounts of variety. Yeah. What if oh. we took their the original idea of RE4 with the mm. Hookman demo? God, it was so good. So, so good. Uh, Mr. Kiryu, she said, as as pulled a folder out from under her arm and held it out in front of her. Wait, I have been informed. As pulled? As did pulled. She, did he, like, fucking... He missed a word. He missed a word. It's yep. so not the first time. <laughs> I, I stopped to keep count after the prologue. <laughs> I have been informed that you have seen something that was not of this world. She spoke with a straight. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. She spoke with a strange exotic European accent that he could not place. He found it sexy. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> like the dragon that you did. Uh, uh, yeah, he said. Uh, uh, yeah, he said cautiously as his eye flickered over to the guard. At least I think so, she nodded understandably. I understand your concern, she said. Most law enforcement officials do not understand cases like this. As I understand it, they have treated you as if you were insane or making up an elaborate story to explain your behavior. They've been treating me like I did it, yeah. The woman nodded as she opened in her folder. Uh, yes, they are quite convinced, she murmured as she persuaded, as she per perused the document to the witness testimony at least. Their actual foreseenings, however, leave a lot to be desired. 
The guard behind her noticeably yeah. stiffened. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Heller, wasn't this something that happened in Cruel and Beautiful a lot? Wasn't there a lot of stiffening? Yes. Yep. Yeah, wait, well... Wait, wait, Posture stiffening or cock stiffening? Because I feel both. like... Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Harmon's the David Lynch of stiffening. <laughs> <laughs> she raised a pen and lowered it onto the folder of papers placed on her leg. Now, she said, I will need to ask you several questions regarding that the incident. Her, he found the interview far more enjoyable than any he had previously. <laughs> any he had he had previously. Why is he... Uh, what? What the... I'm starting... Mm. I, okay, I'm, I, I think I'm understanding what's happening with these, like, double letters. I think he's typing this shit on his phone. And either his phone's like like data is out of sync or or a cracked screen does it because I've had this happen with an old phone where sometimes when I'm typing shit, if I type in like 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 a connecting word like the or and or then, I have a thought. It would just like auto it it it, 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 it got it. Sometimes it would just create a second <laughs> one. Out I could of see nowhere. that. I I have a thought. What if he wrote this on his Nintendo Switch? So I don't even think that's possible. I, you know what? I wouldn't think it's possible either. But what if? <laughs> I mean, the fucking writing app. Yeah, and theory. <laughs> and that's just a theory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> theory. <laughs> he found the interview far more enjoyable than he had any he had had previously. For one thing, this woman did not seem to believe that he had done anything wrong, that in and of itself was refreshing. Rather than press him again and again on where he was or why he did certain things or how things had played it, how things had played it, she pressed his memory on the event in question and the monster that he had seen. It was sexually assaulting her right there on the carpet. Yeah, Jack found himself squirming uncomfortably at the straightforwardness of her question. And then... <laughs> it's and hand then rolled around to fucked. look at me. <laughs> Jack said, holding his hands out in front of his face, and its eyes glowed with this weird white light. They glowed? The woman asked sharply. Are you sure? Jack nodded. Yeah. <laughs> that her pen quickly made a note of that particular point, and they moved on. Well, the woman said, as... As all was said and done, that was certainly enlightening. She looked up to meet his eye, tapping her pen against chin. Very enlightening indeed. Will you be able to prove me innocent? Hmm? She paused as as if not sure what he meant before giving a small start. Oh, I know I know you were innocent before I even arrived, she said wait. smoothly. Wait, no or new? Did he miss did he use the wrong word again? I know you were innocent. New. It, sh it, it should have been I knew. New. Oh, damn it, man. <laughs> she said smoothly. In fact, I have filled out the necessary paperwork for you to be released. What? Jack leapt to his feet ecstatic. The guard at the bars turned around looking shocked as he quickly raised his walkie-talkie to his face and hurriedly began whispering into it. It will be a while before everything is in order, she told him as she got to her feet. I will need to meet with you again to discuss other matters regarding your future. We'll contact you again when the so, when that time comes. New theory, I think whatever I said earlier, whoever I said was white dress lady earlier, I think this is white dress lady. Oh, it yes, is. Probably. It yeah. is. This, is, oh, this wait, has to be moment, white dress lady. The moment it said it said wild blonde hair. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, yeah. The hair, hair description. Uh, Jack could hardly hide his glee. Yes, he said quickly. Yes, of course. He was already thinking about how best to suggest that they meet again under less professional circumstances. Uh, Bro, this man's only worried about getting fucking boned. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this guy's horny as shit, goddamn. Goddamn. Yeah, horny as <laughs> fuck, but he's <laughs> horny. Horny as fuck, but I did not touch that girl. <laughs> your honor, I'm innocent, sir. Please put your dick away. <laughs> Judge, I've been edging for the last three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I have these fucking cuffs on. It makes it way more difficult. <laughs> I tried to use the cuffs. Oh as my god! Oh my god! Well. <laughs> Your honor, try about it. <laughs> I'd like to, sir. 
<laughs> she nodded uh, at him, giving him a small, lined smile. Why is there a comma there? Before turning to the gate, the guard was standing some distance away, speaking into his communicator. We've established it's a walkie-talkie. You don't have to get weird on us. Communicator. <laughs> Fucking... Oh. Oh, my God. Ex excuse me, the woman hmm, said. Yes, I am guard finished. decided to talk into the communication device. <laughs> the the handheld is just communication. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, yes, she decided to talk into oh, the uh, oh. remote communication <laughs> handheld device. Oh, um, <laughs> that PlayStation gamer. I don't want to hear Harbin say The Last of Us 2 is badly written when he made this fucking 100%. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't, I don't even right. like The Last of Us 2. The Last of Us 2. Last of us two. But yeah, you're right. You're, you're right. <laughs> I don't even like it. Like, you're not wrong. Oh my god. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, da, ba, 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 where did I leave off? Uh, excuse me, the woman said, I am finished. Uh, the guard looked up at her and then bent his head down again without acknowledging her. The girl twitched in place, clearly a little annoyed. Sensing an opportunity, Jack stood up and joined her. Hey, did you hear her? He bellowed, open up. She did not try to stop him, but she did not seem impressed either. She stared straight ahead at the guard, her lips pursed. The guard bent his head deeper into his collar, said something, and then turned to face them. That whole sentence was not needed. Yeah, what? <laughs> you are yeah. not going anywhere, lady. Jack gave him a surprised look. The lady, too, looked a little surprised before becoming angry. I am sorry, but I am afraid I do not understand. You have no jurisdiction here, the man said shortly. You have no business, promising the accused that he is innocent and will be and will be going free. Unless you have a no... lawyer! <laughs> what? Oh, you have no power to hold me here, the woman said smoothly. The arrangement had has already been made. You will stay until we get in touch with whoever sent you here, the man said. There's something funny going on here. You are not going anywhere until we get to the bottom of this. She turned and gave Jack a look. You know, she said, on second thought, you've been held under false pretenses for long enough. She un... Oh my god. She unbuttoned her white jacket and reached inside. Jack's mouth fell open as she pulled out a foot and a half long sword. Okay. What the, the guard, <laughs> the guard immediately cool. pulled his weapon. Okay, so I've been told that this is the most like action-y of his books. I'm going to read this as if it were an action movie, okay? All right. Because I just assume that this is going to be a very action-filled scene. The guard immediately pulls his weapon. Stop! I'm warning you! The woman wordlessly slashed the sword in front of her, cutting through the bars in one fell sw sw swipe. Okay. The guard... Oh. <laughs> immediately taking the fucking wind out of my sails. The guard stood there flabbergasted as she kicked down the door with her heel, slamming a piece of the gate into his stomach. Slamming him to the ground, she stepped out through the hole and bid Jack to follow. He did, but not quietly. Holy shit, that was awesome, he, cr he crowed. How did you do that? Many years of long training, she told him quietly. As she eyed him up and down, please stay behind me. They left the man wheezing in pain on the ground as they stepped out into the office proper. A secretary looking at a desk looked up at them and recoiled in fright as they strode on by. Give the chief my regards, the blonde woman told her dryly. Jack grinned at her as she gave a faint nod. You, stop! The blonde ignored the number of men from across the room stampeding towards them. She stepped, yeah, she stepped up to the door, opened it, and bid Jack to step through first. He did, and she soon followed, closing the door behind them. People around them were shouting in every direction. The stampeding of feet could be heard from every direction. <laughs> I did need to hear that twice. I would prefer not to have hurt anyone, the blonde told him. It would make things more complicated in the long run. Uh, uh, sure. Did make it more complicated? <laughs> uh, uh, sure, if you say so, Jack said alarmed. Please give me some room. They stepped further down the hallway, and the officers burst in, weapons drawn. The blonde beckoned him to get behind her, and he did so. She raised the weapon in front of her nose, staring at men through her glasses. Stop! Her lips twitched, but I'm not moving. Jack felt his heart skip a beat. Don't be cute, girl, the officer snapped. We want answers, and you have already provided them in fully detailed report with signatures from all the relevant all the yeah, all the relevant authorities, the woman said shortly. I have nothing else to tell you. Mr. Kiryu is free to go, and I will ensure that he shoot her. Jack yelled out <laughs> as <laughs> three guns. Hey, hold on, <laughs> Jack hold on, yelled hold on. out. Hold on. Okay, so she had the paperwork. She had 
everything she needed to allow him to be taken out, and they just said, nah, fuck that noise. We want him kill uh, that bitch. Uh, 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 what is this? The oh, my God. Oh. Oh, boys, I'm, I think I'm laughing going. or crying. I think, I think I'm losing. I think I'm dying. Oh. I got the dooms. Oh. The dooms set in, boys. <laughs> Oh, Jeez. God, help, no. <laughs> Jack yelled out as three guns went off at once. The blonde grimaced as she adjusted her posture slightly. I wonder if he still thinks that's good or not. Two of the bullets soared harmlessly past them. The third slammed straight into her sword and clattered to the floor at their feet. Are you all right, she asked him shortly as she tightened her grip on the blade. Jack nodded for once at a complete loss of words. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he wasn't at a loss of words. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, that's why I mean, lie. Oh, uh, fuck man, dude. I'm being cut here, Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared for something extraordinary, she told him. Uh, he really didn't know that. Okay, never mind. Turn around and run the instant I attack, okay? Okay. She turned back and around and raised the sword. She brought it down in a powerful strike. An intense gust of wind burst forward, sending the men flying backwards, slamming into the wall behind them. Jack did not stop to think about what he had just seen. He turned and raced down the hall, the blonde hot on his heels. More officers tried to stop them as they raced out the front door, but to no avail. They made their way out into the street. Where now, Jack asked, as an alarm hit their ears. My driver is waiting for us, the blonde told him. Uh, a, bright light, a bright white limousine came cruising up to the station, and backed, its back door popped open. After you... Jack did not need to be told twice. He raced down the steps and leapt into the car. The woman leapt in after him and shut the door behind them. Lose them, she said shortly as, it sh as she sheathed the sword in her jacket. Jack stared at her. She wasn't even breathing hard. The entire ordeal had been nothing to her. The car took off. Jack felt an intense thrill well up inside of him as he looked back at the station. He laughed as angry-looking cops came filtering out of the building searching for them. Did they see us get in? Someone did, surely, the blonde said quietly, but I doubt they will be able to find us now. Really? What do you mean? I'm sorry, did somebody say something? No, I'm just, I'm just, this is... I, I kind of just figure, like, I'm kind of on, I'm kind of on a little roll right here, and I think... I, I, I know, I know how Harmon makes money off of these now. People pay what? him to stop writing them. Oh! <laughs> oh God. Just like literally, I'll give you a hundred dollars to fuck off. <laughs> He's like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? You um, know what? I should start doing that now. I should just start writing a good, and then just get told off for it. <laughs> literally, get paid a hundred dollars to fuck off. You know what? That's that's the best way to live. Yep. Yeah, honestly, I, I mean, I do it. Oh, shit, I don't even have money, and I, I'd like to offer it to him just to never write another novel again. <laughs> Harmon, I'll name my firstborn after you if you stop writing. <laughs> 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 I gotta make a fucking rumple stilt skin no, deal. No, uh, you, I, you said you'll name your first kid that. I'm just imagining your first kid's name is exactly his intro. Cody oh, Lee, no. author of Fire the Dragon, Crew and Beautiful, <laughs> Rabbit Hole King Duo, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, put it back, put it back. <laughs> oh my god my first kid if, if my first kid ever oh my god oh Harmon Rice <laughs> Harmon <laughs> Rice <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> well boys it's been fun I'm splitting the wrist as we speak is it vertical for uh, attention or is it horizontal for attention I don't remember <laughs> okay no it's across the street for attention and it's down the road for um for results for results perfect okay <laughs> Jesus I'm going, Christ I'm going to hell for laughing at that <laughs> god I'm just going Damn. straight to the fucking boiler room. <laughs> like, God isn't going to take a second look at me. He's just going to be like, yeah, no, hell. You're, it, you're, you're done. You know you know how Christians and everybody are always like, you want proof that God is real? This is like, a, like if extremism, atheism is a thing, this would be like, <laughs> this is proof God is not real. It's Harmon's books. <laughs> it's just... God, there is no proof. God. There here. is no God. No one looks after yeah. us. We're just allowed to run through chaotically. 
<laughs> God is no not further. here. God has abandoned us. This is a godless wasteland. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I will, since we're still in the middle of an action scene, I will resume. <laughs> what do you mean? She did not answer. She had pulled out the folder again and was writing on it. Jack fell silent out of respectful silence. But then, he, uh, then a thought crossed his mind. What about Rose? Ah, the woman closed her folder with a snap. Yes, your girlfriend. My ex, Jack said quickly. We broke up, I think. I date. What the fuck does he mean, I think? He literally kicked her out of the fucking... Your girlfriend, the woman repeated. Oh, I, I the think woman. I kicked her out of the apartment. No, wait, you fucking... Wait, wait. We broke hold up, hold, we, hold, we hold broke up. up Your I girlfriend, think. the woman repeated, will be fine. I know you are worried about her, but the police will not do anything to touch her. What? Huh? What? Go? We... You, to, your girlfriend... We broke up... Not even the broke up thing... She is. You are in this situation because her. What? No. She's literally pinning this on you. <laughs> they weren't supposed to lock you in with me, right? He asked disparage, disparage, disparagingly. Sorry, that one. That one's actually me. Yo, uh, Bryce. <laughs> James yeah. wants to know if he can hop on the call. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. 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 For sure, oh, that absolutely. would be fun, Keems. Keems, I would be honored. Absolutely. I uh, would be yes, honored very as much well so. to have Keems on call. That would be a fucking wild Oh, oh my yes. god. This, that would be like the fucking greatest thing yet. My <laughs> fucking dream has just come I've already to talked. To, I've already talked to Nier, but I haven't talked to Keems, so that'll be fun. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to talk to Keems. Uh, hold on one sec, Keems. Let me get you in. <clears throat> uh, add members of roles. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're getting uh, Keems on here. <laughs> Okay, Keems, uh, you should be good, man. Uh, just join in my... Oh, wait, I need to invite you to my server, don't I? I'm oh, going no, to hell here. for listening to he's someone here. for oh. reading this? Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> it's him! Uh, what's up, Keems? What's up, James? Oh, I Keems. just got back taking my sister to school. How are y'all? Oh, Not too good. bad. <laughs> I'm great. Nice. Thank you so much. I, I really are... did not expect to be able to talk to you this way. Um, I'm sorry I had to be over at Harmon, but thank you so much for being here. <laughs> hey, Harmon brings us all together. <laughs> It, that, that is, is true. true. This is actually a good opportunity for me because I used to write really bad, okay, a grammatically bad fan fiction when I was in high school, and it's like an opportunity for me to like see how far I've gotten. Wait, 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 James. right? Though, like, I what wrote was a the fanfic I, about. That's uh, my it's question. Mass Effect. <laughs> uh, Ooh. You, know what, you know what? That's yeah. actually decent material. I'll give you that. Yeah. I should uh -huh. come out and say There's I didn't write. With there. I should come out and say I didn't write bad fan fictions, but I just straight up wrote a terrible story that I presented to my English teacher, and I'm surprised you kept Oof. a straight a straight face, like fucking saying that was okay. <laughs> like, Lord, I'm actually I've actually been rewriting the same story for like the past few years, I've just because like boat. all of my previous drafts have been fucking dog shit. Exactly. Because of Harmon realizing, hey, I could do better than this. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. well, Harmon gives Harman. us all hope. Yeah, you see a bar <laughs> like true, Harman. That is true. You see a bar like Harmon, and it's just. Kims, you know, would you like to read? Lower. Uh, where did we leave off? Uh, it is right at. Let's see here. Uh, right at she fell silent. Right here, if you can see it. <clears throat> she fell silent. That is an interesting question. She said at last. Despite the way that you have been, despite what you may have been told in school, Mister Kiryu. Superstitious fear is still very much prevalent in the modern world. What do you mean? The woman paused, clearly trying to decide where to begin. Mr. Kiryu, what you describe to the police is something demonic in nature. Humanity, generally speaking, feels a strong aversion to evil and do everything in their power to destroy it. Or in instances where it is simply not possible, distances... <clears throat> fuck. Distances... Um, Distances themselves from and ignore, from and ignore it. It takes a very strong heart to stand up to evil in its physical form in the way that you did. Jesus, okay, that was a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, most of Harmon's sentences are. It doesn't flow very well. <laughs> His sentence structure is awful. It is. <laughs> I, I, I thought my dialogue was bad because it was overly short. 
but jeez, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to do dialogue worse than fucking Harmon. I'm not gonna lie. I thought mine was bad. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like, like I look at several stuff I've worked on professionally. Like, you know what? Maybe I'm not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you look at a bar like Harmon. It's like, man, how can I go lower than that? <laughs> you know what? There well, should be an achievement. Ended. You know, if life was a video game, there would be an achievement for somehow to be worse than Harmon Smith. <laughs> it's just called wrong. Dane Bramage, worth 100 gamer score. It would just be called <laughs> Dane Bramage. Dane Bramage, yeah. and it's worth... Dane Bramage. It's the, Dane, it's, Bramage. It's, it's, Bramage. Dane Bramage and the gamer score just says priceless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So do I continue? Uh, yeah, yeah, if you'd like to. It. Yes, please. <clears throat> Jack frowned. It, it wasn't that difficult, he told her. Anyone would have done the same. Your neighbors did not. And the police did not. Not because they are terrible people, but because... Wait, is that a... Is that a... Is that a full stop? That is a full stop. Yes, it is. That is that, that's supposed to be a comma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, be not, not because they are terrible people but because humans are predisposed to, de to treat demons this way. It is a primal survival mechanism, one that goes back to the very dawn of humanity. Most people are incapable of comprehending demons or recognizing their behaviors at all. What are you talking about? Jack asked, a little exasperated. Is, wait, is, is exasperated the, the right expression here? Uh, a little is he out of breath? <laughs> exasperated is like you you oh, yeah, wait, aren't they, like, you escalated aren't they, like, things, room? right? Yeah. yeah, like yeah, like aren't they in a room like like just calmly discussing this? Like why is he exasperated all of a sudden? Yeah, exasperated is like you escalated things or you're like tired. Like, I mean, I get if he got like really frustrated from all the confusing shit, but I'm not sure exasperated is the right word. Maybe I don't think so. Maybe you just said it yourself, Keems. Maybe like confusion's the better word here. He yeah. said confusingly. Yeah. 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 Keems, I would like to point out, though, that she is supposed to have a, uh, how did he describe it? An erotic European, like, old-sounding, like, yeah, sort of voice. He and said his voice a, is doing He said it was a foreign European <laughs> accent that he didn't understand, but he found sexy. <laughs> he found sexy, yes. <laughs> also, I have, since... no, I have no clue how to do any other European accent apart from Russian. That's the problem. <laughs> not, even um, like, not even, like, an English accent? That's kind of uh, I, I, I can try, but it's really hard on me. I, I end up doing Australian instead. That would actually be funny either way. I, I would <laughs> love to hear either one. <laughs> um, but real quick, I have to ask, since I'm actually uh, since I'm actually in BC with you, Keems, is it Keems or Cheems, or does it fucking matter? Keems. It doesn't really matter, as long as I know you're talking to me. Fair enough, I just wanted to know. <laughs> and... I'm sorry. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um... That makes no sense. How could they not see it? It was right there. The blonde, the blonde turned. Why is B? Why is blonde capitalized? I was wondering that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the no. blonde turned to look at him. Jack calmed down instant. Jack calmed down immediately once his eyes met her gorgeous. Shit, sorry, the Discord UI was blocking it. Oh, met her gorgeous blue, blue, blue ones. Yeah, wait, what? what? Wait a minute. What? Well, Why no. is that so... Right okay. It's because he's Page saying formatting. emphasis, okay. on, emphasis on eyes is the thing. Because he okay. said eyes previously. No, okay, ones. Okay, the page formatting was a bit weird. Um, yep. Jack, the blonde said, tell me more about yourself. He wasn't about to refuse. He liked the way this conversation... <laughs> he liked the way this conversation was going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 24 years old. A dropout. Unemployed, unable to pay my rent. <laughs> Do you always start off conversations this way? She a she asked in a matter of fact sort of way. She was. Jack was pleased to. Wait. What? She wa what? <laughs> she, she was. She was. Jack was, Jack was oh. pleased to see. Not judging. <laughs> okay. Uh, he could have moved the comma. He she he could have removed the first was, moved the comma back, and it would have meant the same. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, punctuation is certainly not his strong suit. Oh, man. <laughs> she, she was, Jack was pleased to see, not, ju not judging him. Jack grinned. I find it best to get the, horrib the terrible stuff out of the way first. The woman nodded. He noticed that she was taking notes again. Tell me more about your upbringing. Uh, 
I was kicked out of my parents' house at 14. The pen Bruh. began moving even yeah. faster. What I jumped even, from foster family to foster parents? family until I was 16. I keep getting relocated. Why? I wasn't a good fit for my <laughs> other... For my... What? Sorry, the, the resolution was shitty. Oh, sorry. I will... No, no, it's my fault. Probably Indonesian internet and all. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't yeah, a good fit for any of the families. There was trouble. Jack paused, hesitating a little. They didn't really like me. He said quietly. No one does, really. The pen was still scribbling. Even now that he had fallen silent, he had not thought about this in quite a while. Ever since he had met Rose, in fact, his heart had, over time, become so hardened to the loneliness that he barely even registered how poorly he was treated by those around him. I must say, Mr. Kiryu, the blonde said. The B is still capitalized. Is, is that just a thing, now, I guess? That is just the that is just like, the, like, the like, Harmon crumbles. It's you know what, Harmon. You know it's what makes Harmon unique. He was. Doing, I noticed this. He was doing the same thing in the prologue. He's talking about the girl. That this blonde. The G was capitalized too. Up. Yeah. 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 The G was also okay. capitalized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess if like a specific word is referring to someone, he capitalizes it. I think so. I think that's. I think that's the, the. I wouldn't the, be surprised. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's the motif he's going with. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> The blonde Weird said as I... she tapped her pen against her leg. The more we speak, the, m the more we speak, I become more and more convinced that you are exactly what I am looking for. Jack felt his throat dry up. He was not used to women, women being so forward. Uh, what? The blonde gave him a small smile. I never told you my name. She told him. What I am, or what I do for a living. Understandable given the circumstances. This was too good to be true, Jack thought wildly. A hot... Is that really his priority? Also, like, <laughs> I don't think that would be the line of thought in Jack's mind based on what... Very soft-spoken, he's very stoic. Why would he just say... A hot... Why and on top of it, like, like he was trying to save... Like, help Rose out as well. Yeah, he was, like, obsessed with it. Like, all of us... Oh. Yeah, but guys, you're forgetting he dropped Rose faster than he dropped the fucking Mazda. Like... <laughs> <laughs> he did not give a fuck about her. The characterization for Jack is wildly off base. Oh, no, like, did, does no one remember when Jack was thinking about shooting up his job? Like, that was a thing! Wait, he did that? I, I, no, I was no, taking my no, sister no. to school when, when that, when you... No, no, you yeah. what happened there, I don't know, that's not what happened. What happened there was was, was that the, the, the person, the, uh... The manager. Was, yeah, the manager oh. was describing what he felt, what he looked, what he saw when he saw Jack. Like oh, like okay. I was just Tarman fucking me up then, because I thought that was Jack thinking of shooting up the place. No. That's the manager basically describing that Jack looks like Harmon. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, there was this one weird dude that that uh, that was described in the prologue, and I was like, is Harmon putting him, like, is this Harmon's cameo? <laughs> like, the loser that the girl robbed right in the, right in the prologue. <laughs> like, fuck. It's, it's, his, um, it's his self-insert OC do not steal. <laughs> yes, essentially, that is, that is uh, what I'm picking up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong. Uh, let's we'll see here. Okay. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. B -b 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 where where do we leave off? Uh, a hot chick. <clears throat> oh, a hot chick you. with a sword burst into prison to break him out and confessed her love. What? You didn't confess her fucking love. God. This is confessed her love within fifteen minutes. He was suddenly really thankful that he had kind of, sort of broken up with Rose before all the. This happened. This is kind of messed up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it is him very and messed up. Jack and Rose have such a toxic relationship. Jesus. So fucked. I think we know where where the problems come from, though. And I think <laughs> the thing is, I think that's supposed to be the point because he's talking about in earlier. He talked about how like oh he never really noticed how badly people treat him, but like it's so poorly conveyed. Like. So, uh, forgive me for uh, going forward. I'm just checking to see when chapter two hits. It's gonna be a while. How, how many words was this novel? <laughs> uh, I don't know how many words, but the pages. I think it's two hundred and sixty-nine. I think. What? Okay, that's a that's a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of time to go through. 
<laughs> Wait, that's a lot of words. Shame I ain't reading them. Wait a minute, how long <sighs> was Crew and Beautiful? I thought it was like, I think Crew was like under 200. Like, are you telling me this is fucking longer? I think so. Um, if you'd give me just a moment, I actually, I would like to point out how long it's taken us to get to where we're at. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, let me see if uh, blackcat.books.org is still in my... <laughs> <laughs> uh, blackcatbooks.org. See, even my even my browser doesn't want to remember. Oh my god, you're using Twitter on bright mode. That's disgusting. <laughs> I know. I yeah. don't say anything. I don't say yeah. anything to him, but he does that. You Bruh. can roast me. It's fine. <laughs> I don't uh, say imagine anything. not using it on light mode. I'm discovering something. Oh, Sorry, I. Um, that explains why I flashbang myself nightly. That's not just Twitter, though. Like, all of his quick. web browsers, he just right. leaves on white. Since you're on this page, can you see when he published Cruel and Beautiful? Because I. Yeah, think um, let me. Public. Let me go to my Amazon thing real quick. Let's see. Oh, what's up, Sendu? I appreciate you stopping by, homie. We're, we're, oh, Sendu. We're reading terrible Harmon Smith shit. Sendu, thank you so much. Um, if you do, if you would like to join Sendu, the uh, voice chat in the server is open. Um, Sendu is one of the ones I did. Hey, hey Sendu, what's up? Author. Sendu, what's uh, up, my guy? Uh, Valentine's Day 2020 was cruel and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> my amazon to try and find my copy and another book called cruel and beautiful which is a series came out in 2015 guys Bruh. guys oh. so he just Publ lifted the fucking title yep Publ oh. publication date for eye of the dragon is december 26 2019 not two months after he released eye of the dragon cruel and beautiful released Jeez, that is actually pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus yeah, Christ. no wonder there's so many like typos and stuff. Fast. The dude it does. It does explain. No, it does explain all the typos. Yeah, he doesn't do a single yeah. like re-edit or revision. He just writes it. And that's it. He oh my goodness. Um, this is what the. Uh, this is the description he gives for Eye of the Dragon. By the way, the reason I'd like to read this is because so far I feel like none of it matches with what we've been reading. Uh, for hundreds of years, the elusive knighthood of the Order of the Dragon protected Europe from evil such as the Noctis and Hellraisers. They combat witches and other creatures in their bid to establish their order as one of the most powerful and influential in Europe. Knight and scholar Lucille Langley discovers a young man with the ability known as the Dragon Within. Parts of his body can turn into that of a dragon and is able to unleash incredible magical powers. Meanwhile, across the continent, another man with the dragon within is approached by the Order. When he refuses to join, they attack and he swears vengeance against the entire Order. This one is a little bit longer than Cruel and Beautiful and is meant to be the first in a trilogy. The setting no. and characters are more fleshed out, and I think this is an example of what a typical novel from me is going to look like going oh, forward. No. If that's an example of what a typical <laughs> novel from me looks that like, I sense. pity his future readers. <laughs> that is not the example you want to set. <laughs> There's a lot of crazy action. He pulls a full Dreamcast guy here. There's a lot of crazy action coming from a lot of very distinct, unique characters. The novel was inspired by Dragon Quest IV, of all things, and as a result, the main protagonist, Jack, is not in focus. Oh, he's 100% in focus. Yeah, what, are what, what are you talking about? So far, what? he's not in focus, my he's ass. The end. entire first chapter is from his POV. Yes. Instead, and same with the second, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Now, now... To play devil's advocate, maybe the other chapters focus on other people. Okay, but is, I, as, as, like as someone who has also written, not in focus, my ass. As someone who has also written from a third-person perspective, you can have other fo other characters with chapters focused on them and still have a main POV. Instead, yes. I focus more on the setting and conflict with Jack's counterpart, Soren, the Eye of the Dragon, and his relationship with the Order. I have thus yet to see the Order. I've talked about this in a blog post already, but essentially Jack and Soren have very differing opinions on the Order. 
Jack, who came from a background where he couldn't utilize any of his real talents, is thrilled to suddenly be thrust into his into this world of action and excitement, while Soren, who grew up more aware of his heritage and powers, has strong feelings of antagonism towards the Order and refuses to cooperate with them under any circumstances. This yeah, one I feel... Man. I can't imagine why. It's almost like they fucking attacked him when he refused to join them. It feels yeah. like he's... Mm. Like, it feels like he's, he's, he's mm. spoiling the entire plot of the book to try and get people to read it, but in fact, it just makes people not want to read it more, because this sounds awful. Yeah, not only that, but this is, like, so far feels completely disconnected from everything we've read. Uh, this one, I feel like, really focuses on the morality of the characters and how their experiences <laughs> sort of shape them. Jack Where is positively... does it focus on their fucking morality? I, see, well, I don't see morality. shit. The last uh, morality... Sh- Jack is positively thrilled about the possibility of entering a world where he's encouraged to hurt and kill things for a higher cause, of course, while Soren (laughs) wants nothing more than to live a normal life. For a higher cause. Yeah, always, always higher cause. That 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 makes it all okay. Yeah, Jack doesn't have any (laughs) sadistic motives. Oh, here we go. That contrast, I think, really makes the novel stand out from others like it. Oh, and most importantly, there is a lot of fighting and killing. So even if you don't oh care my. for the characters or plot, you won't be bored. Oh, oh my! Bored. Fighting, the fighting and really killing only—the fighting and killing only matters so much as we care for the characters. Exactly, and so far, I give a shit about absolutely none of them. That's like Michael um, Bay putting more explosions in Transformers. <laughs> it yeah, do anything. Uh, at the it's, least, that's entertaining. <laughs> I would like to point out real quick that rabbit hole is literally just one yeah, line of text for the summary. I remember this. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, BT, BT knows. He was in the chat with me the other day. Will yeah. Way is a college student who spends his free time studying martial arts. One day he saves a girl from being abducted and is enveloped in a massive, sprawling sex trafficking conspiracy. This is... Mm. I'm starting to see a theme with Harmon's writing. What are you talking Very about? horny. <laughs> He's he's like I, I was describing this earlier. It's like he's been edging for the last like eternity of his existence. So like however old he is, let's say he's twenty eight or something, which I shudder to think at the thought that he's like older than me. <laughs> but, oh lord, he very old yeah. than me. Yeah, because like I'm I'm twenty five. So like thinking about the idea that Harmon is within the same age range, it's like he's been edging for twenty five years. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> I think I think the cruel and beautiful synopsis he has here, like he talks about how he thought Shinji from Neon Genesis is a yes. bit, not understanding that the whole point of the show is his about as, the entire as point a, of the anime. Yeah, as a massive fan of Neon Genesis Evangelion, it really upsets me that like he used that as his inspiration for Cruel and Beautiful. There's, there's nothing there. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I haven't read Cruel and Beautiful, and I haven't watched this anime, so at least I'm not offended. <laughs> oh, oh, Neon Genesis Evangelion is very good. It's only, um, if you're re- watching the original, it's only like 20 episodes, or 26 episodes long, but it's very good. I like it quite a bit. Um, you're a big mech fan as well, Keems, right? Yeah, I last I he checked, is. he's a Gundam fan. I know he posts a bunch of his plastic crack addiction on Twitter and yes. <laughs> shit. So. I also... Well, <laughs> I enjoy looking at it quite a bit, because I also... Um, I recently got into Goomplot over uh, over COVID, so... Yes, oh, I, I... Yeah, that was, that was where I kind of started with mine, so... I do enjoy uh, those types of videos, specifically. Um, let's see, plastic I'm trying to crack. think... Yeah, Probably the best crack, way to describe it. It really is. I'm trying to see how much longer it's going to take us to get to chapter two. Like that is a very is long it, chapter. That is a very long chapter indeed. Yeah. Um, why don't we do like what two more pages and call it? Sure. Probably. I don't know that I feel. I don't know that I feel um, wildly invigorated to keep going for much longer. But <laughs> at least not feel like this. he could have. And yeah, I kind of feel like he could have ended the first chapter after after the woman broke him out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, yeah that I was just thinking that. To end. And then I chapter was... two is all about her explaining what's happening. I mm-hmm. literally was just thinking that it's like I mean. Maybe like when when he got um thrown like before the woman broke him out and shit like after he got sent or sentenced whatever the fuck we want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, there's apparently in the county jail the entire time for like weeks. 
And you could have had the next chapter pick up with him being broken out even. But, you know, there's a couple natural stopping points here that he just hasn't taken. Sendo. Yeah. Hello, my man. Sendo, oh. how What's are up, you? Sendo Q? What's, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Hey, yeah, yeah, do. Thank you. you so much for coming. I we're appreciate doing, it. We're doing Dane uh, Bramage. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I'm just like, got off of work, so I do apologize about that. You're uh, good. I'm also cool. sorry. Oh, good, man. <laughs> I'm sorry that you getting off of work. We have to expose you dr- to this directly afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we know you were trying to relax, but we just had to disrupt that and I to rope you into this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, it's all good. I'm just going to be chilling. You don't have to catch me up anything. I'm just going to be listening, and you know, <laughs> y'all just go ahead and do your thing. You know, I'm a guest, and thank you for inviting me. All right. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thank <laughs> <For> you. <sure. laughs> Okay. Um, who would like to uh, Who would like to go for the last two pages? Uh, Heller, would you like to uh, finish up this cruel and beautiful rabbit hole? You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Where were we? <laughs> since since you're the you're the one that inspired me to do this shit. <laughs> All right. A very start of uh, this right here. If you can see the mouse moving. All right. The blonde placed her hand on her chest. My name is Lucille Langley, she said. Sure, I, I, I was writer. reading her with a Russian accent this entire time. She's probably British. <laughs> she's, got, she's got a random European accent that he finds sexy. That is the description we have. Whatever yeah, European not, accent you think is sexy, accents, go so. for it. <laughs> we take what we get, honestly. <laughs> All of us just give her a different accent every single time. <laughs> yeah, so far I've imagined her as French and then British and then also German. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lucille Langley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My name is Lucille Langley, she said. I am a knight of the Order of the Dragon. Jack's heart skipped a beat. A knight, he repeated, amazed. Like an actual knight? Yes, she's. Oh, it blurred. Uh, yeah. Said. Come on. There we go. Giving yes, she, him. She said, giving him the warmest smile he had ever seen from her. She seemed quite pleased with his enthusiasm. We are quite different than traditional knights, of course. The times have changed, but we are still very much committed to defending the world from evil. Whoa, Jack said again, feeling even more excited than he had been just moments before. The fantasy of Lucille being in love with him was forgotten about in an instant. But, uh, what are you doing here? I mean, you obviously aren't American. I came for you. What? She smiled. I came when I received your report, she explained. We keep an eye out for stories like this, in hopes of aiding people who may not be equipped to help themselves. I flew from Italy to meet you, Mr. Curio. We know where she's from, everybody! Okay, okay. Is it where so she's from, or is it where, where the thing is? It where the knights are headquartered? I'm just going to assume on that's to. where she's from. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna take this oh my my confirmation bias. She's Italian. Yep. So, so we have someone a named Lucille Langley, Langley is <laughs> from like, Italy. Go. Yep. Uh, he went full Twilight. We have Volturi. Oh no. He went full. He went full Twilight. You never go full Twilight. All you right. never go full Twilight, and you never go full Quantum. <laughs> <laughs> There's two lessons in this life, and those are the two that you, you, you never do. That it is. Wow, this is ridiculous. No, it is. This is fucked. Oh, I wish uh, the grammar in this just makes me want to like crawl out of my skin. It's oh, it's terrible. It didn't inherently start off awful. It started off like mundane and boring, but then it just got worse and worse. No, it's not even the grammar. It's just how you put the sentence together. Yeah, and sentence structure, grammar, he does punctuation. Not, he does not proofread this. <laughs> no, he no. Does. Yeah. <laughs> no. I've lost yeah. brain cells reading some of this. He get paid. <laughs> if he get paid for me, he get paid for it, but man. Oh, I wow. said the only way he's getting paid for this is people paying him to stop fucking writing. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> if, it fact, if it wasn't for the fact I've been pounding waters like for this entire stream, I probably would have had a headache. By oh, now. I've I've been drinking, I've been smoking some joints. It's the only way I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring enough. I only brought a Gatorade and a monster. Oh, yeah, you were unprepared. I only have one singular glass of water. You were very unprepared. <laughs> oh, no. is, that, is that the glass that Heller lives in? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know, my oh. 
what was that? Uh... I am drinking Heller's house right now. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the sand. You're gonna need a floss after that. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, what's I love deforestation. <laughs> oh yeah. Do Do you like uh, Do you like Wonder Bread too? <laughs> <laughs> Split top or straight top? <laughs> this is going to dark rabbit hole. I'm gonna blitz past this. <laughs> what did you speak me about, Jackass? You wanted to clean up this. You just wanted to clean up this little side visit to Damon, or what? I wanted to confirm your story before proceeding to the next step, she told him. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure, absolutely sure what you would have was a thing incubus. And incubus? <laughs> a male seduction demon, she said. They lay on top of women and helped it away with them. It, you described their behavior and appearance quite accurately, even though it was dark. What are you going to do now? Firstly, she said. We're going back to my hotel, so I contact my superiors I had this business with the police cleared up. We are going to discuss what to do about Rose. What about Rose? Incubi generally try to get the same victim multiple times. Wow, that's convenient, Lucille mm. explained. Particularly young, beautiful women who live <laughs> <laughs> I can't even finish the fucking sentence. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yo, James, can I get that gun real quick? <laughs> By all means. <laughs> yeah, how many rounds does that have? Just the one for me, unfortunately, but we can line up, I think. <laughs> Alright, we'll line up, we'll see how much the collateral can do. Just five Mythbusters. <laughs> Busters. How many people can we kill with James of Regrets 1911? <laughs> I hope enough. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, I wonder uh, if I can kill myself with a Gatorade bottle. Oh no. <laughs> Probably. I don't if fucking you swallow, know. If you, if you swallow it, I don't own a firearm. That. that is true. <laughs> I don't think my esophagus can expand that far. <laughs> Why did you need to phrase it like that, James? <laughs> <laughs> you sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. I, I hope you know that. This is precisely why we do have nice <laughs> Brother Near. Brother Near. Yes. Brother Near to shut up. Why are you doing this? You'd find more enjoyment in going through Mayo's mental gymnastics. <laughs> because we <laughs> hate ourselves, Near. I'm already That's working why. on a Mayo video, so why the fuck that not? That is the reason why we don't like having a stable mental. Yeah. You know, we don't I... want, like having stable mental faculties. We at do this it point, for you, audience. At this point, I need the Dane Bramage in order to, to do the content I do. <laughs> <laughs> Brother yeah, Nier, thank you for uh, being in... I know it's in Psycho Stream, but regardless, thank you for listening. Oh, either to, or. To everybody stopping by to listen to this. Big ups. I do appreciate it as well, whether it's Rice's stream or mine. <laughs> Yes. But you did invite me, so but you did invite me, so you know I didn't want to like miss it. So oh, I do yeah. appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, man. No, I appreciate everybody stopping by for sure. Um, especially those women who live unsatisfactory sex lives. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't give it to you. Harmon will give that to you. But uh, I mean, we, together, us uh -huh. great value Avengers, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the great value Avengers. <laughs> Isn't that what right. Quantum TV called everyone that went after him? Yes, and yes. and somebody else made a meme with the Avengers, and I was in it, so I consider myself to be a part of that. Yeah, right. uh -huh. I was I was Iron Man. Oh yeah, you were in that, that too, ass. Syndicate, and so was Neo. Yeah. There was quite a few of us. In that. Oh yeah, agreed. Okay. I remember someone made a meme about Quantum TV, and somehow I was in there, and I was just like, "What the fuck did I do? I literally did nothing but." <laughs> I didn't even make a fucking video about it, so I don't know why I was I'm there. I'm waiting for him to notice me. <laughs> Come on, Quantum. Come at me. Wait, did he uh, not? That... Has he not found you? He found me at nope. 100 subs. Not... Yeah, not yet, which is weird, because huh? like, like, one of my biggest videos is on him at 4.8k. Nope. I'm like, how Yeah, my not? biggest video on him is the one that he found. It's like 5.5k views, and he commented on it when I was at 100 subs. Like, yeah, he ignores me. He ignores me, but I don't. I don't let up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way nah, to I'm do still it. Trying. 
I'm still trying to see if you're going to go ahead and uh, have a uh, live discussion with me. I, I know. It. Syndicate, you offered Ooh. that like two or three months ago. I was like, shit, I respect that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's like Q, Q, Q versus Q. Don't you think that's oh. going to take a lot? Hey. Like... <laughs> that would be an incredible title for a video. Q versus Q. <laughs> The yeah. dude that made that video made me wasp. Fair enough. Yeah, I knew you were a wasp too. <laughs> I saw your comment here. <laughs> the only thing Don't I was mad it. about was that I wasn't Spider Man because every one of my quantum videos has a Spider Man meme at the beginning. Right. Oh, that's, that's true. <laughs> uh, I say we finish this whole uh, little page section here and then we can call it, honestly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get through this festival. <laughs> Jack glared at her. She gave a surprised start. She had clearly not meant to offend him. Oh, please forgive me, she said quickly. <laughs> I didn't mean. He was miffed enough to end the conversation there. He stared out of the window for the remainder of the trip. They came to a stop outside a large, fancy hotel. Jack felt his throat dry up as they stepped out in front of it. He would, ne he would never be able to afford anything so expensive. Thank you, Lucille said to the driver. Feel free to take a break. I expect it will be another day before we are ready to... Oh, uh-oh. Blur. No. Oh. And there we go. I'd expect it would be another day before we are ready to take out, take to the field again. She stepped back as the window rolled up and the blue car took. Wait, I thought they were in a white limousine. It was a white. Yeah, it was yeah, a white wait. limousine. Oh, oh my yeah. god, continuity error. Yeah, it was continuity a white. Error. It was a white limousine. Add that a... to the pile. <laughs> it was a white oh, limousine. Wait, wait, wait. It's self-aware. It's self-aware. He notices it. Oh my god. Jack stared at it, frowning deeply. It may have just been his imagination, but he was sure the car had been a different gun. What the fuck? Wait. Wait, what? What the hell? No, no, like, I got kind of lost after, you know, he's, uh, Heller saying something. What? I think he's, I think Harmon's suggesting when she said they won't, they won't find them, even though they saw the thing, is because the, the something with magic. It's imbued with. Yeah, some sort of illusory magic yeah. of some sort. Boy, that's going to be a convenient tech. I hope to. I can't wait to see how it's properly utilized in the story. It's probably yeah. going to get dropped. It oh, will yeah. get dropped. <laughs> he like should use this in all of his novels, because then it's a convenient way to excuse all plot holes. Oh my god. <laughs> excuse the plot <laughs> holes, don't recognize them and fix them. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Lucille smiled at him. Welcome to my world, Mr. Kiryu, she said. Please, follow me. She led him into the hotel and into the elevator. Jack noticed lots of stairs follow them. He wasn't sure whether they were checking out Lucille, wondering... what. Wait. What? what? Hey? Jack noticed lots of stairs follow them. Okay. He wasn't sure whether they were checking out Lucille, wondering what such a grum grungy guy like him was doing in this hotel or speculating whether or not they were an item. Jeez, Lucille... his priorities, really. Yeah, right? <laughs> what no you pussy should... does to a motherfucker. God. You <laughs> struggled through that. I really did. It was not easy. <laughs> Lucille, however, paid them no mind. They entered the elevator, and she pounded the key, shooting them upward. Pounded? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Pound the key more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, what kind of hotel is this if they're still using keys? Do, don't hotel most hotels use, like, cards these days? Bro, I went on a field trip in, like, what was it? Grade fucking... I don't know. It was before high school. I went on a field trip, and we had to pay for it, and we went to these nice hotels, and they had the fucking cards then. And that was before high school. I'm 25. Oh, and these, this, is, this is supposed to be a very expensive hotel. Yeah. Well, I, think, <laughs> so. I think by key, he means, he means, like, the buttons in the elevator. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. Then why like, didn't he say like right button? Yeah. Because yeah, he said hard? Did, and why did he specifically write pound? Yeah, I don't pound know. the <laughs> keys. So pound the keys. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Technically, there is keys in elevators for emergency, but I doubt that he meant that. Yeah, no, because exactly. he's but talking that's, about... That's for, like, the emergency panel, right? He's talking yeah. about, like, yeah. the actual yeah. buttons that you press to go up and down, so why wouldn't you just yeah, say Yeah, you buttons? don't pound the key, you turn so why key. wouldn't you just say interface or anything along yeah. that line? Look, you, I was... she, he could have just wrote, she pressed the key to their, to, to their, to their floor. Look, yeah. I tried to grasp out some straws, so, you know... <laughs> don't do that for Harmon, he's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> don't risk your brain cells, Sendu, it's yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have already taken the liberty of preparing your sleeping quarters, she told him. The suite I rented has two bedrooms. Jack tried to keep the disappointment off his face as the elevator door slid open. Bruh, and they out. This motherfucker's thinking about nothing but getting laid. God He's damn. Know, yeah. just, just scared out the police Herman office. Just, <laughs> Herman has so far in this book projected his inner his inner furry and his inner incel the entire okay, okay, time. Okay, let's 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 write write the list down. He's just so so far within this first within this day. He's learned that demons exist, monsters exist, that there is an organization of people that worship these demons and want to make them more prevalent on Earth. Th that he's learned that there's like a freaking Templar legion that's trying to stop them. And then he's also learned his ex-girlfriend got raped by one, and that he has like that he's special enough to get inducted by these knights. And somehow his priority is trying to get laid. Yeah, <laughs> pussy, though, my dude. Exactly. When no pussy does. And also on top of it, getting laid by the same bitch that kidnapped him, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's that's some Stockholm it. syndrome right there. I, I hope he Jack makes is a for Sonic Pokemon. fanfic gamer boy bathwater. <laughs> <laughs> her I know. Who the fuck said Jack is her fucking Pokemon? That's me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Nier, I choose you, Jack. Near, you can I definitely. You, Jack. Near, you can definitely pound my keys. <laughs> I'll let you do that. <laughs> right, where was I? Uh, Near, save yourself. Don't come in here. Trust me, you will regret it. Oh my this God. Like, right now we are experiencing weaponized autism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is weaponized horny autism right here. Ooh. <laughs> True. Yeah. I mean, horny yeah. weaponized I can't autism. argue with that. I cannot argue with it. All right, I'm just going to start from the start of the sentence. Jack tried to keep disappointment off his face when, as the elevator door slid open and up, oh, it blurred. God damn it. And they stepped out. This floor was thankfully empty. He followed her down the hall and to her door. She raised her key, and the door clicked. It was a nice, pleasant, spacious area. Jack found himself taken to it almost immediately. It was bigger than the apartment he was sharing with Rose. We can't go back to your apartment just yet, Lucille. No, he misspelled Lucille. Wait, what? He forgot. Oh, he's L. missing an L. He's missing yeah. an L. <laughs> Bruh. Lucille. What did he's indirectly <laughs> thirsting over? I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. He definitely is. Lucille Man, noted. Harmon has so much L's in his life, he even for, but but somehow he forgot to include one on the on the character. Hey, hey boys, uh, give me just a moment. I'm I'm near just joined, and I'd like to uh, oh. offer him the chance to come in as well if he'd like oh, to. Yeah, oh. This will uh, be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nier, by the way, for joining. I read Yo, you genuinely up, appreciate it. And, okay. Nier, you are good to join, my friend. <clears throat> you can join VC and shit talk shit if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you just say this is the society? We <laughs> live in a society. Hey, no. What's up, Nier? Hey, boy, what's poppin'? Hey, greetings. What's up, Nier? What's hey. poppin'? Hello. Look greetings. at us. The uh, Great so Value Avengers gathering together. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Against Harmon's horrible writing. <laughs> God damn. I will pound everyone's keys in here. I hope Every so. Every last one of you. It's it's I the type of catharsis I need after Harmon. Oh, yes, no. <laughs> Please. 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 Oh, here, I didn't think keys. you were into CBT. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> what the fuck? Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. Yo, but can I say something before anything? Absolutely. Sure. Sure. Yo, I want to say thank you for everybody in this chat, man. I really appreciate y'all content and y'all accepting me, y'all uh, community. It's something <laughs> I never thought I'll ever see in my whole entire life. So. Hey, man, I started this shit a couple months ago, and I'm surprised I'm at where I'm at, so same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm surprised. Hey, man, we're as well. happy to have you in our community, man. Oh, yeah. Like, genuinely. Thanks, really appreciate that, man. I'd like to point out that I'm just very grateful for all of you accepting me as a closeted content creator. 
<laughs> yeah, you're um, a content creator. Wait, wait, psychonautic. What do you call me? You're uh, a closeted fucking... resp- uh, commentary response channel is what you are. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, like, I just make a I bunch of shit about like Steam Deck and stuff, but like then I like every stream I'm like watching cringe. Oh, uh, I'll I'm be watching... right back. Yeah, I have okay, me too. as well. I'm happy that everyone here recognizes me as YouTube's biggest femboy. Yes, you are. <laughs> of yes, yes. YouTube's I've been drinking femboy, femboy juice for a long, long time. Keep <laughs> uh, it 100% fuck. real. I didn't know you was a femboy, going to be honest with you. So, <laughs> the it's more good. you know. <laughs> the more you know, but I found that out inadvertently as well, and then I just started calling him YouTube's biggest femboy. <laughs> <laughs> Every frame of meme. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No, I just yeah. Genuinely, I'm appreciative that you you all decided to uh, surround me with this ten dollar horrible book. <laughs> Wait, it was ten bucks. It was ten fucking dollars. <laughs> 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 so much, I tell you. I'd have more it's fun burning a ten dollar bill. Actually, I think Cruel and Beautiful for me was like eight ninety nine. Uh, what the fuck? Did he raise prices? Inflation. Inflation, man. Inflation is the money. It's the money that professionals make, like Harmon Smith. <laughs> hey, the chip shortage is not the only thing that got inflated. <laughs> for, for the third yeah. time, I'll say he only gets paid by people that want him to stop writing. <laughs> That is probably the most sound theory I've heard this entire night so far. <laughs> I feel cucked beyond belief. <laughs> God damn, man. Uh, <laughs> Can you continue? Can we wait for a BT? Like, what's going on here? I think that is what we're doing. Uh, Norman, Norman just asked in my chat if he could have the honor of reading the very last page. Uh, I'm o- I'm okay with that if you'd like to take a break, Heller. Yeah, I'll, I need a break, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's, just a, there's just about half this page left, so yeah, if, I, that's fine. Uh, give me one sec, Norman. Let me bring you in. I got a what 6700 XT below mar- market sale, or eh, below MSRP, yeah. Like fucking... <laughs> Inflation Excuse is me. a thing. Yeah, I think Norman, if you if you would like to come in up. and read the last little bit, that is that is a okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah, Hello? Yo, what's up, Norman? Hello there. Hello. Hello. If you can see my sh- uh, my screen, um, I think did we leave off at the elevator? Uh, I How was keys? at like the last couple lines, like right after it was a nice, pleasant, spacious area. Uh, five oh, okay. Six second delay in the stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're good, man. Um, I am sharing it on on the Discord, so if you can see the page on Discord, you should be able to see that. Channel chat. Uh, no. If you go the the voice chat you're in, I'm yeah. Go to the call screen. you're in, and then just go to the screen share. Yeah, go, go to the screen share. Just go to Rice's stream. Yeah, I'm already in that. Mm-hmm. On Discord. Like, on my Discord, I'm streaming to multiple people in there. <laughs> Boys, I think he just went full Harmon. Sorry, I'm just Sorry, like, my fucking, my <laughs> fucking just laptop is locked room. up. Oh, got an aneurysm. He, like, he, like oh, locked up for a second. It, it was your laptop trying to save you. No, no, you don't have to do this. Oh my god, Harmon's Incubus got him. <laughs> <laughs> no! The Incubus got him. Incubus gonna punch your keys, boy. <laughs> gonna pound him good. <laughs> Norman, I'll be your Incubus. Are you in piss? Oh my. <laughs> can you see okay, Norman? Yeah, I can see perfectly. Okay. Like the, like the page. Jack tried to keep the disappointment off of his face as the elevator doors slid open and they stepped out. This floor was thankfully empty. He followed her down the hall into her door. She raised her key and the door clicked. 
It was nice, pleasant, spacious area. Jack found himself taken to it almost immediately. It was bigger than the apartment he was sharing with rooms. We can't go back to your apart. Oh, Lucio. We can't go back to your apartment, just yet. Lucio noted as she sized him up. So we're going to need to get you new clothes. Oh, I don't have cash. I'm very much aware. I'll pay. Thank you, everybody. The Eye of the Dragon was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Damn, Norman. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't a brain dead like, studio audio audience? Um, <laughs> it was a fucking brain dead audience. Cue applause yeah, track? Not really. <laughs> Damn, that was like a nice voice for audiobooks, man. I'm not gonna lie. Very nice. You, you should have laughed. <laughs> <laughs> do, none of you, do none of you have a laugh track for that? I wish I did. I no, have... I don't have a soundboard. <laughs> I, I, I had to real. reset my PC so I don't have my soundboard handy right now. I'm going to keep it real. I, I'm so aware in that situation. I definitely considered a YouTube career at one point, which is why, you know, sometimes I catch myself kind of practicing in my head for some reason, you know. Voice acting mm. and da 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 da. Yeah. Oh, I used to just do random imitations of shit. If anybody knows who Team Four Star is, um, <clears throat> I can yeah. do imperfect shit, really? style pretty well. That's oh, so, very nice. Yeah, that is really, really good. Oh my god, that's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, I used to do impressions. The only impression that I did was Steve Urkel when I was younger. <laughs> no, <laughs> my parents used to make so many jokes about Urkel. Fuck no. <laughs> Mm, did I do that? Ooh, laugh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me, give me one moment, guys. I have a laugh track pulled up. I'm just gonna play this shit. Real quick. Reminds me of that one time I read. Anybody I got any cheese? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Just remember, guys. Fucking Cody love Lee. Family matters. <laughs> Cody Lee, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King Dio, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> his full name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, guys. his full name. You know, it's actually, you know what's actually funny about Family Matters? Is that it actually started off as a really average and decent, but really just normal, like, family sitcom. The weird shit then it came until, like, way later. It's almost like a completely different show. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mm. Yeah, that's 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 true. I remember because I remember uh, watching a couple for uh, the first season and stuff. It was completely different. Never watched it to be fair. That. That's like all good. Running TV shows do be like that sometimes. Like I yeah. used to catch a couple episodes during like when it would air at like uh, Nick at Night, and I'd be like, "Huh, mm. this is not like some of the stuff I've heard. Looks this is fairly tame." And then every now and then they'd air one of the later seasons. I'm like, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it was so different that it was actually shocking when I first saw the first season. Because I'm like, I'm going to watch Family Matters again. And then, like, I finally see the first season for the first time. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What is this? This is Family Matters? That's not the laughs I came for. Like, like you don't even recognize it as the same show. Yep. Hell, even the same writing. <laughs> oh, it was totally different. I agree with you. Um, let's see here. Now might be a good time to actually like re chat since I, I finished finish the book. The, we didn't <laughs> finish anything. We didn't even finish the first well, chapter. Well, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes. Let me make that very clear. I did oh, not finish the, the book. Abomination? Oh, I posted a lot in both chats. Oh, I know. I was reading. <laughs> to be fair, I've been reading as much as I can of everybody's chat. I just haven't yeah. been able to read it. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry for not being able to get back, but uh, it's, it's not going to be easy to to do that while reading a book. So I do hope you'll forgive me. Lofold no, uh, calls this fine. the holy book. Um, uh, JCS says, I'm going to write a romantic novel between rice and gravity. Please do. That'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not opposed to gravity, it. I'm sorry. <laughs> make, it, make, it, um, make it a love triangle with a noose. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. So me then. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, what is this book about, JCS? JCS, um, this is supposed to be some fantasy book, but it, it's terrible. It's no, just, I don't... no, Gamer Boy Bathwater in my chat, this is up. the sequel to the Bible. Is <laughs> 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 that Oh, no. Is that why I say the Bible? Yeah, this is the <laughs> sequel to the Bible. Bible. <laughs> no, no, no. This is, this is the Bible. 
This is the bubble. <laughs> this is the bubble. The word of the mighty Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got, so wait, no. Wait, no. Way. Lucille is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> um, Jack is Jesus. Who I don't know who God is. And L Lucille. Ro Ro <laughs> no, no. I said Lucille <laughs> was the Holy Ghost, though. Or is L Rose Lucille. the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Lu Lucille oh, the Holy Ghost is the because Wait, you no. don't know because he touches you without you. Yeah, without the whole your consent. the Holy Ghost is the random dark figure. Rose yeah, is the Virgin go. Mary. Jack is Jesus, and Lucille is God. You can't be the Virgin Mary if you got raped by the incubus, though. Did get raped? Just molested. Just molested. Well, to be fair, his mm. fluids only came out on Jack, so <laughs> yeah, what we know of. <laughs> yeah, for anybody that wasn't here for that, the fucking random demon thing pissed on Jack, and the cops didn't even analyze the mystery piss. Oh, no, <laughs> and, at, and at first we thought it was cum, and to be yeah. honest, that wasn't even far yeah. off. And thank you, Rice. It was no, it, Rice, you knew exactly where I was going with that. As soon as I heard it, it was oh, oh it burns. <laughs> it burns. <laughs> There was a moment where we were talking about focusing, and all I could think of was focus. Focus. <laughs> Stu oh, is such a meme. Focus. My fucking god. <laughs> Golden Bucket said, I'm uncomfy. Uh, I was very uncomfy that entire time, so I yeah, would also agree. Yeah, this is the paid DLC for the Bible. That's what this is. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he calls this the cursed text. <laughs> it's it's the outsourced DLC. <laughs> like if he was uncomfortable, I was. The main team was fire. busy working on some other project, so they outsourced it to some two-bit developer in Siberia. <laughs> they couldn't get they couldn't get God to come back for the sequel, so they had to hire somebody else. <laughs> 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 Fuck no! They had to outsource. <laughs> That's why me, man. It's the Bibble. <laughs> man, why does God have a different voice actor in this one? It sounds way off. <laughs> why does God sound European in this one? <laughs> why is God Russian? <laughs> why is he Russian and Italian and Spanish at the same time? Why is God like Mario? What's going on here? Why is God named Lucille? Wasn't why does God, God, God live Yahweh? in Italy? <laughs> why does God well, live in Italy? <laughs> I can barely hold on to my push to talk. My God. Well, the my Leaning Tower Ron, Pizzas. Though, so. It reminds me of that. It reminds me of that some war scene where uh, there's that little <laughs> meeting, and then there's this guy that's like, I have a question. Why do we all have British accents while we're in outer space and there is no Britain? <laughs> it's like Team Four Star. What did we come back It's like Team Four Star. Oh, it's like Team Four Star with their space Australian <laughs> shit. To say makes I'm me... confused would be an understatement. What the fuck did I going back BT. to? <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, uh, Thumb Wars makes me think of that part where like they go to Han and they need Han to fly him. He's like, "All right, but you're gonna have to giggle like a girl." That's basically <laughs> hard. Like, <laughs> the only way you're getting paid is if you giggle like a girl. Be a femboy. <laughs> hey, uh, you gotta giggle like a femboy. Actually? I don't think uh, Nier has to imagine that part. <laughs> <laughs> near, near lives that. <laughs> JCS, what? J touch your tongue to mine. <laughs> JCS I... says, "Why won't one v one me in Rust?" <laughs> one v one, no, one v one in Bog. Come on now. I'm going to be completely honest. I no, don't... that's the Wings of Redemption map. Exactly. I don't <laughs> think I've ever heard of Thumb Wars. Oh, it's great. It's a Star Wars, but with thumbs. And it's yes. Great. Um, there's it's also good. there's also Bad one. Thumb. Thumb. My favorite. There's also there's Veggie Wars thumb. or something like that, where there's one about Star Wars, but it's all like vegetables in a grocery store. <laughs> that one's uh, great. There's too. also they also made a bunch of like other thumb related movies, like Bat Thumb, Thumb That's Tannic. So good. Thumb God Tannic. Thumb. Also really oh, good. Okay, I get it. Yeah. It's a giant spider. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, BT. Hey, except James. Oh. Um, so, chat, one, how how would you rate what we've read so far? I just just out of curiosity, before I end stream, I just kind of want to get your overall feelings, uh, chat, and I guess us too. Um, I mean, I, we all know it's bad, but like, I, mean, I, guess we could, I guess we could go through each person. What's their personal score out of ten so far? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Uh, it helps to show the current economic state of the world very well. <laughs> All I'll say is it's less racist than his other book. Alright, I know my <laughs> rating. Racist. I know okay. my rating. Cody Lee out of Cruel and Beautiful. 
<laughs> I know 100 my out of 10. It shows the effectiveness of the current public education system. <laughs> you Morbius mean it out of doesn't 10. show it at all. Morbius out of 10, it's a true political statement. <laughs> uh, it's Morbin time out of 10. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, if it's not Morbin time, I don't know what fucking time it is at all. To be fair, I, at least when I when at least when it's Morbin time is said, I know what time it is. Unlike in this book, where I have no idea what time it is at all times. Yeah, it's so. eight p.m. and then it's like what day? <laughs> That's a fucking mess. My man put in forty-seven applications for jobs, but couldn't, <laughs> but stayed up the entire night like it was fucking like Alaska or something. Like yeah, I'm just so confused. My have... biggest question, bro, is why the fuck did his fucking girlfriend go come back? And also, why did he even want her back? She yeah, back he called her his ex. Honestly, this entire That's book... That's question, because that means either she came back for some reason and never called him, or she was out there that entire time and he was just That's what I was thinking. job applications while she was getting... That's what I was thinking. She was out there getting raped and molested the whole time. <laughs> the and entire she... way back, she, every step. And, after that, <laughs> and then after that, she came back with the man-made milk. <laughs> and he was covered in mystery <laughs> piss that never got examined. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that warm fluid. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my he god. He has the consistency of semen. You guys. has the consistency of This is like mixing pure life versus arrowhead, eh? <laughs> Too, it burns. It's it has the consistency of semen. It's, like it's, just, it's, like, it's, it's semen. just as a wise man once said, "What it's what no pussy does to a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's 100% on point. Like, absolutely. This entire and this book. has been edging the book. <laughs> Thing feels like, the, the book feels like this is just all of his sexual repression coming out all oh. at once at full force. Yeah. I think that's 100%. all of his books, Norman, regardless of plot, narrative, or characters. Have you seen Cruel and Beautiful, Norman? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. After, after this, I don't want to fucking see anything. No. Wait. You so you've seen Torture Miller. Heller, which one was it that you read? Was it Cruel and Beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna have to go back and listen to that. Oh, you got it, man. You got it. You definitely made it further than than we did, Heller. Oh, yeah, but... I got far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if no one else intends to pick this up, I will. I'll fucking read this whole book drunk. I don't care. Yeah, there was a lot of sexual tension in that book. Oh. Uh, yeah, Cruel and Beautiful was genuinely uncomfortable to read a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't there, like, a massive age gap between the characters? It, oh, there no. was. Oh, yes, oh, the female oh, was, like, hundreds of years old. Yeah, yeah, they pulled that, uh, that lolly, that lolly, like, anime thing where, like, the... Oh, yeah, little... you know, she looks, she looks 16, but really, officer, she's, like, thousands of years old. Please <laughs> no. don't arrest me. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> not oh, oh, get shanked by Jamal. And there were, she's 3,000 years Harman. old, even though she there looks were, eight. Like, would uh, confess to the police, Harmon, or... Like, there were several moments in that book where underage characters were naked for more than what should have been okay. Oh. It's like, God, it's like, oh. She's 19 with years all, old. Oh, oh, yes. oh. With all their hair billowing in the oh. wind. Yeah, oh. Pubic oh. hair and all. Oh. <laughs> Pubic hair and all. <laughs> Carmen B. Pedo question mark? Well, so Armin far he's exposed his inner furry and his inner incel, so why not? <laughs> yeah, bro, the cat lady in the beginning of this. Look, I don't like it's his... referral accusations without any proof. All I'm saying is it wouldn't surprise me. Right. I mean, he does live near, like, a water heater. Like, oh. right next to, like, he films all his videos right next to a water like... heater. I feel more like sure he would be related. Maybe it's cooking his brain. I, I feel more like Harmon Smith would be more related to like r slash nice guys. <laughs> yes, yes. Fair enough, fair enough. Yes. Uh, in cell oh, cast. Oh, I'm yeah. a nice guy. I'm only here to rape you in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> like you had to visualize this motherfucker. Oh my god, he this had to visualize this entire story, man. Uh, but I, I, That's I, the I, scary I, part. What? Like, okay. Family's having pizza and everything, but fuck, I'd love to stay. See you, dudes. <laughs> yeah, All right, You're man. good, my man. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate <laughs> it. Peace yeah. out. Always. Go away.
Fuck <laughs> 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 Get out of my swamp! <laughs> this is a swamp. What are you doing in this, my swamp? This is a fucking swamp. Look at it. Uh, there's a reason I picked hell as my as my main uh, as my main image. <laughs> Sounds accurate. Yeah. Uh, well, I think I'll end the stream. I'm, I'll stay and call with you guys for a few moments, but uh, I'm gonna end the stream. But thank you, everybody who came out and uh, listened to this absolutely putrid uh, reading of. Literature, yeah. if I can call it that. And if you're yeah, not subscribed my to, to Psychonautic Therapy and Like Sunrise, do subscribe now, or else I will come to your house and I will break your kneecaps. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Keems. Thank you so much, Keems. That means a lot. <laughs> that means a lot to me, too. I need the support after this. So to me, too. I need the clout. Yeah, yeah, sub to Brother Nier 2.0, YouTube's biggest fanboy. He's clouded yes. for that alone. Come on. If now. you guys yeah. want to drop uh, each of your links in um, to the stream, I'll, I can mod you guys real quick if you're going to like, drop all your links in. Yo, <laughs> I might as well. I got to get to your stream yeah. here. Might as well. I don't have a big following, but uh, the few people I do, right. I like to share what I can. Hey, keep, up that, keep up that grind. When I was at like 500 subs, I didn't think I'd reach 2.5k. You'll yeah. get there. Yo, I just literally I I started it. this a couple months ago, and I've just been having fun with it, and I'm already close to it. It's been a blast. <laughs> it's been a so blast. Yeah, my tip, my that tip is try to have fun. Don't, 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 do, don't do it like yeah. me. No, I, yeah. just, I, I literally just do it to have quick. fun. The only thing that I've been convinced to do that wasn't as fun was doing the Mayo video because of Nier here, but it's gotten fun <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> it's just the first, like, 15 minutes of that were drowning me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I decided to. Uh, yeah, I gotta give y'all. I gotta give y'all a whole bunch of shout out because after watching everybody here, I mean, you know, Cheems, Crabs, everybody here, yo, I gotta admit, y'all actually helped me aspire a little bit more. So well, I really appreciate y'all supporting me and everything. I have to say, about out of everybody here, the only one's content that I haven't seen that much of is Heller. So I'm gonna have to check you out more, mm. <laughs> homie. Oh, you gotta <laughs> watch some man. Heller. Like I, I knew, I knew about, Heller. I knew about him, but I've never really seen too much of his content yet. So I'm gonna have to go back and look at some of that. Yeah, he swolled. He swolled. He swolled. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna going through and dropping your guys' links. Well. I'm gonna have to end my. I'm going through and dropping all your links, by the way, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. But yeah, okay, as hey. for my stream, peace out, y'all. Thanks for the Harmon. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by for Harmon Smith. This was. <laughs> 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 we'll try. To, we'll try to read more someday, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but peace out, y'all.